I am here vibing one of the giants in Jamaica's audio engineering space. He is a keyboardist and producer. His parents named him Stephen Stanley, and today he shares his story. <laughs> JC. Yes, man. You have the name lucky, you know, JC. <laughs> Great one. Yes, man. All is well? Yeah, man. All is well. One of the man, them we have put some heavyweight yeah. back here. Not too, and a while ago, you forget the right. audio engineer. You can't uh, leave uh, out that. A famed audio engineer, mm, no, Producer. No, you leave uh, out audio. audio engineer, but we have to you All right. We yeah, appreciate that. Audio appreciate engineer, <laughs> the number one thing <laughs> first. <laughs> them always make sure the message i reach them yes, Stanley. yes sir as i said one of the man who has done significant work locally regionally internationally yeah. bringing the music to to various parts of the world where we don't normally see up in the interviews on the camera right right i like Wally the great works i like behind the scene yeah man Wally yeah. great works man talk yeah. to us though early life place of birth Place of birth. You, you really want to know that? Yeah, eh? man. <laughs> Victoria Jubilee. Line in. That's some familiar to people, right? Eh? Yeah, man. Mm. But them say, um, I used to live at Dinner Road. Okay. Right in front of that little Chinese supermarket near St. Joseph Hospital. Oh, okay. My uncle used to be a doctor, Dr. Keith Stanley. And, and did um, give my father a room for go on and work with. You oh, understand? Okay. Them say, I moved from there when I was two. Mm. I go up on my mother, them relatives now, the half of them, before she married. Okay. 110, Constant Spring Road. That's between Charlottewood and Grand Spen. Okay. So behind the yard was the gully, Sandy Gully. Sandy Gully. And so right there, so I grew up. Okay. And they'll we box about the place after that, though, you know, if you really want to oh, hear. Oh, really? Yeah, man. really want to hear, man. You want to hear? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So, when I'm about eight or nine, it's like my, my uncle, which is my mother, brother, because it was their places to share up. Oh, okay. Everybody have a little two room for the, the land, you know? Big mm -hmm. land, you know? 110. So I heard that the bigger brother borrowed some money. He used to work at KCC. Oh, okay. Road works, superintendent. So he borrowed some money from the bank to build his house in concrete. So he couldn't pay back the loan house to the bank. Take with the place. Oh. So we have to start box boat bank. No, we have to start move all over the place. So the first place to move, I like to catch a two Castadine Avenue in a Kesha Park. You're supposed to know that there. Then we did it for a couple of months, you know. And then I find myself going up way up in a sandy ground, my granny country. Mm. You know sandy ground? No. You pass the... Dovecott and go up in the hills. Oh, that's how they are saying catching. Right. Okay. Maca tree and then places. Oh, 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 going to Kitsitown side. Right, past mm. Kitsitown go up. Okay. So I have to stay there so now for a couple of months till we start going to school up there, Ginger Ridge School, Marley Hill. Even Leng tell me the same used to go. Yeah, because that's where the Leng come from. Right, they didn't tell me because I never know. I never know what's in the same class. Oh, yeah, Leng did that same class. Yeah, he might tell me, but I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, we spent a couple of months. We don't spend a year now. You know. right. We spent a couple of months then. We find out we get a place now, a Three Monk Street, Spanish Town. Spanish Town. For a couple of months again, we never <laughs> get to go to school because we're, we're not stable. By the time you say clean, you have to move again. Right. So we get a place now at 8 Fourth Avenue, Vineyard Town. <laughs> we start going to Rollington Town, all age. For a little while, months again, you know. By that time, for box foot, the place burned down. One, one, one boxing day, 19 or 68, Thursday. I remember the day. Thursday. I fell in next door, I think his name is Jervis. I play with Starlight and threw the, the Starlight and drop on the shingle roof. Mm -hmm. Which we on, had. <laughs> and, and it burned down the place. I tell you, man, it's pure joke, you know. It's, all, it's serious, but it's a joke to me <laughs> still. Yeah. So we start box boat again, again and split up. Some have stayed with Uncle Raphael, 31 Lawrence Avenue. Some stayed different places, you know, other brothers. But eventually we get a place, uh, like you said, 15 or 17 Mannings in the road, nearby. Mm. We did it for a couple months again. I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> so, my daddy have a brother named Mr. Narcisse. I think he have a daughter in the... Human rights business. Carol yeah. Narcisse. Yeah, mm. she, she almost look exactly like him. Okay. Tall man. And in favor, I have a place in Golden Spring, a two room place with kitchen and everything. In a little wilderness up a hill. <laughs> so I give my father that to stay. I was stayed about a year or two. Oh. So during that time, I used to go to Stone Hill all age. You know? A, a nice lady named Nurse Wap because we wasn't going to school. Right. 
the government provides she to make sure all the youths them in the area go to school. Okay. So she find out so when I go to school and that time my father they get a little stint in America. Oh. So we start run up and down the riverside, but I never know she a watchery. <laughs> so she grab me and, and say, well, I'm going to school, you know. Mm -hmm. And my mother couldn't rule, you know. My mother nice and soft, you know. Yeah, you know, so we can't teeth out all the one she's not beat to. She's nice. Mm -hmm. So we start going to Stone Hill for a, a, a couple of months again. As you know, that's the main thing, a couple, couple months. months. So it was too late to take common entrance. So I had to take the technical entrance. Great nine achievement test. Right, mm -hmm. that's what I'm calling it after thing. So, about 140 of us took the entrance from Stone Hill and only five hour pass to go Kingston Technical. And, and I was in the five. Because them used to give me extra lesson to you know. You look like a techie you word. No, sometimes, <laughs> sometime, you know, when I don't understand the fraction, I put up my hand and they used to laugh after me. Uh, yeah, man, he, he laugh after me. He said, Oh, you don't understand a simple thing. I don't understand it. <laughs> so, I'm in a business. <laughs> so, we're Kingston Technical now. Right. Mm. So while we're there Golden Spring now, I got Kingston Technical. C couple months again, we stay there. And no, no nothing about a, a year or a so. Year or or so yeah, right. not a couple months. My granny have some relative named the Harpers. They, they are the Harpers in a Glengarfan place, yeah. Mount Charles. So she gets a government uh, piece of land to lease and, and then put a government house on it. Like a nice big two room thing, but it could have hold everybody. Mm. On a ridge. And we did there for a good little while till. <laughs> So Wait. you were travelling from Glengough to, to KT? Not Glengough, Mount Charles. Mount Charles to, K to Kingston Technical? To Kingston Technical, but guess what now? I have to get up like 3.30 in the morning, you know, for, for to catch the, the country truck. And a nice man named Marsvin, because sometimes we're not the fear, you know. And when we reach Princess Street, for come off, Ma I said, Marsvin, we're not the fear. And I said, it's all right, you, man, you can go on, man. I'm always easing me up. Mm. Yeah, man. So after a while, we realized uh, it tucks in. So I had an auntie live right down the Providence <laughs> Pen Lane here now, number four. Aunt Marie, yeah. Harper. She said, I can't go stay with her while I go to school. Good you know? And so I go to school now for, for the four years, you know, Kingston Technical. But while I was there, like the last year, my electronics teacher, Mr. Aljo, that he was a singer too, he might have a British start it. Okay. Ethiopian Heat Wave, the song name. Oh. Ethiopian Heat Wave is coming again. You can look it up. Never do that, can't be that way. Yeah, man. Him, him, as him tell you, you know, I'm looking it up recently. I'm <laughs> sound like Fats Domino. Okay, you know okay. Yeah, man, I know Fats Domino. So, so every time school concert keep him when I play the piano, I sing the Fats Domino tune. Hello, Josephine. How do Wicked you? man. He did always notice every time female electronics class, which I was in, I do electronics. You can't pick where you want to do at right. Kingston. Yeah, a good school, you know. If you come out of Kingston and walk list, you walk list. <laughs> so, he noticed every time the bell ring, because after lunch was theme class. I don't hear the bell, because we're up on the piano in the auditorium, I, I practice with one finger. Oh. And I always remember the song we are practicing you now. It's named No Jester In. No Jester Jean's mother say that I should leave her alone, but how could I do that? But I had a bass man, you know, so I, I mute the upright piano with my one finger now. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I never stop till I get it right. Mm. So a brother named John from KC used to come down to. And then I play the cards because I couldn't play cards. You know? okay. So then I bank on the cards. When I hear the bell. But one day, you know, my teacher asked me you now out of the blue, John, because John is my first name, you know. So they use it right. in school. John Stephen Christopher Stanley. Okay. Then I said, John, when did I know I was J.C. John Christopher. Yeah, yeah. It's really mm. John Stephen Christopher Stanley. Okay. But I put the J.C. in it because of. Car, oh, I see it in the street. You know, J.C. I have your middle name. Yeah, Stephen J.C. Stanley. I never want to move the steam from the first because that is the name I become like a famous ish. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, I'm man, saying that I'm a famous answer. ish. Yeah, man, yeah, that's that. Yeah, so, <laughs> when I see Mr. Al Jono in the evening, I'm saying, I have a friend that he want, um, I, one of my electronic students, is about 35 of us in the class, you know. He want one of his students to be apprentice engineer in a studio. I don't know what the studio was. I say, yeah, man, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Because where we did live in, uh, my father wasn't working, because children drink the rum a lot. Oh, he did? He kind of become an alcoholic. So. Oh, okay. But then fix a little scale and a little red in the area and I make a little money. So mm. sometimes we can't eat half of that. But then couldn't keep him work. We used to work at a telephone company. Mm. Yeah, man. So he asked me if I want a job in the studio. I said, yeah, man. If you need to sweep it down, I'm busy. I want to work. 
Kan bara den namnen, Amani. Så jag säger att Mr. Chinla är att köra så kallad i studio. Erman, Erman, right, Erman. Men jag bara ser måndag det ju nu, by the way. Oh yeah. Ja, yeah, man Willie Linda då. Oh, okay. So every birthday the three of us have the same thing going. Yeah, A big so, birthday celebration that is yeah, oh, a star. Know. Yeah, man. <laughs> so when I went up there, Mr. Chinla greeted me and thing, you know, because I'm kind of short. When I knock on the door, see the short man come to me and look up at me. What are you here for? So I said, Mr. Aljo so, said, Oh man, so, come so, in, man. So, so Chinla is short at you? Yeah, man. <laughs> me, me not so short. No, but, 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 but what is the short that I look up for? Yeah, yeah be, me, the, the brother, Mr. Lloyd. Yeah, Lloyd. bigger brother. I'm short, man. But okay. Herman, look taller than him. Okay, okay. I think. Okay. Yeah, man. So, he invited me and he talked to me and things nice. And he eventually came in the studio and showed me this. You see what I see this? It turned me on, man. And up to now, I don't turn off yet. <laughs> he was, he said, I mean, this man, like... Spaceship because I like facts. My father was space, you know. Oh, okay. He's like a kind of technology guy from a little bit. So I see this and love it off, man. So I said, listen, I want you to start to learn this thing. So you're going to start um, learning it. And when you leave school, if you like it, you can Come. take the job. I said, yeah, man. So 1975, September, that's when I start learning, before I leave school. Okay. Every evening, I would go and, and learn. You know, man, and it like, was Aquarius. Aquarius. In tree. Tree. Yeah. So by that time, September now, I left school in, in July or June of the June, next year, July, 76. Right. Mm -hmm. So all that, I think it's about six months, I was learning. So different engineers used to come, and I learned from them. Buddy Davidson, I don't know if you hear that name. You hear the name. Buddy Davidson, nice fellow too. Um, Errol Ross, mm -hmm. Carl Peterson. Um, and producers come to the Clive Hunt. The great Willie Clive Lindo, Hunt. The great Clive Hunt, Willie Lindo. You know, Boris Gardner, you know. I learned a lot of things from them, you know, by watching Generally, him. I learned from this one. I learned, man, because I'm going to go and Willie. Yeah. What I learned from Willie, I learned that before you mix, make sure your song well arranged and everything in order. Mm. I've seen that when sound good. Okay. What I learned from Boris, be patient. <laughs> Keep working until you get what you want. Mm. No matter how, don't watch the clock. Let the client do that. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes because of that, I start to worry so the client now can't pay. So you know what I do? Sometimes, over the years, I pay the difference out of my fee. Because you have to take your time to get yeah, it right. Yeah, man, because I know the right way to do it, you know? Uh -huh. Because sometimes when you're working, you know, you don't have the idea right away till you keep playing the song over and over. Then our spirit say, put a little pop-up right on that thing there, you know? You get and, the idea and that after. complete the song. Yeah, mm -hmm. just one little delay, you know. Chunk, 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 chunk. And it's nice, you know. We learned from Clive. Mm. I, I, well, I learned from Clive now. Um, you have to stay sober all the time. <laughs> I learned from him. And I learned that if you can play the instrument yourself, you know, you can play it yourself. Mm -hmm. If you can play good, just play it and fix it up. Spend the time and fix, fix it up. It up. I learned all the things from Clive, man, you know. Yeah. But Clive was really hardly there, and I'm just come there when. In session. Right, right. So I usually understand. watch them, you know? Mm -hmm. I remember one time he was doing a song, um, I think it's Merlin Webber, one of those girls. Um, if you like it, I never forget the song, come on and do it. But he was making the rhythm, but he never knew me that good yet, you know? Okay. He just see me there and I follow the man and watching him, but he play everything himself and play the, the bass. But no, when he reached the jump now, I was wondering how I'm going to record himself. I can never ask him to do no recording, you know. I don't know me good. Right. So I said to myself, when I'm going to run around there and go record, record the jumps and come back. So when he realized it, it's a problem, he said, you, you know, if you operate this thing here, the tape machine, 24 chart. I said, yeah, man. So I go around and I record him. Mm -hmm. And I saw the relationship so start. Okay. Mm. Before but, we go, hold well, mm. on, sorry for cutting. Before we go any further. I like when you cut me. <laughs> Me read, say, Daddy was a singer of sorts. My father? Yeah. Yeah, man. Father I go all Fred. Like England, Fred Stanley. I go all like England and people are tell me about them. Oh, yeah. Fred Stanley, the one with the golden voice. They used to have a thing called River McCook Band, and they used to put on a competition, and that's what I hear. Okay. And they used to, you know, sing on them things like Carib, Bournemouth Club, Majestic Theatre. Mm. I even got to Nassau, and a lady working for Mr. Chris Blackwell was telling me that my father used to make her cry. Mm, and I get a little benefit from that too. <laughs> <laughs> she, she used to tell me, say, if you want anything in my furniture, yeah. TV, do, I'll just give you a purchase order and you, and you pay me little, little. Oh. She used to fix me up, my Miss G, because of the voice. That he was voice. Jamaica's Nat King Cole, I'm saying. That oh. smooth voice there. 
Moon River with a nice tremolo, which I can't do by the way. Every time yeah. I try tremolo, I'm for cheap. Yes, so local music was in the blood then, man. Was? Still is. No, nah, the man, from them tired yeah, of fire, yo. Yeah, blood, man. Born <laughs> right. with it. Right, so you said, oh, you are at Aquarius watching Clive Hunt, Willie Lindo, and Boris Gardner observing yeah, yeah, and, and, and learning and yes, the engineers. Man. Peterson, Ro Errol Ross, all of them mm. come through. Mm. So one day, you know, Sly Dunbar and things used to come through, and the musician, Mikey Chung, everybody, you know, Peter Tosh, Bonnie Wheeler, to overdub in, in the time, you know. Holy Patting or Third World. Mm -hmm. But all this time I did my little thing, you know. Sly used to tease me and say, Chris Blackwell, I look for you in a yellow. Can you call me yellow, you know? Yellow. <laughs> Chris Blackwell. But he was joking, you know. Right, right. Eventually, Tyrone Downing, who is the pass to you, too. Okay. Tyrone Downing, keyboard player. Right. One Wednesday, then come and say, Chris Blackwell wants to have a meeting with you, you know. And come and help under 50, a green under 50. And I say, yeah, man, I'm glad, you know. Because, you know, that time Aquarius not paying not much, you know, like a little thing. <laughs> Yeah. It, it was you start about fifteen dollar a week. It might sound small now, but did have a little it's soft right, at that time. time there. Cause I give my mother a thing out there, and you know, but I did have to walk. Come, come. I used to walk from Alfred Street to Providence Bend Lane. Cause okay. I used to walk for me. I love walking. You know. So, so while I was there, sometimes I forget to me I say, you know. <laughs> You know, I say, a queer is up here, $15. Yeah, $15. Yeah, I slipped up a while ago. See that moment. <laughs> so, while, while I'm gone, I, I six months after so I started engineering and raised the 30, double. Uh -huh. You understand? Not that bad. But when Chris Blackwell now called me now, I get some advice from like Tyrone Downey and Willie Lynn and say, if Chris asks you how much you get him, probably don't tell him, don't tell him, say, I get 30, you know, because it sounds too small. Mm -hmm. I said, M but me, me no, I don't like to lie. <laughs> I said, how much I must tell him? Tell him 150, man. I said, I don't really like the idea, you know. So, eventually, when I go to the meeting, it was a Wednesday evening at Sheraton Hotel mm. at the time. The meeting was supposed to be 8 o'clock in the evening. I, you know, sat nearby Providence. Right, there. right. Mm, so, I wasn't worried. <laughs> he never reached about 11. Mm -hmm. yeah. Time I had something doing, map thing doing, other things. So, when I'm coming and talking, I'm telling me what I want. I want an engineer from here to work at this compass point full time. Bahama, Nassau, Bahamas. Bahamas, brand new, just set up, you know, the whole works. Oh, yeah? Everything is yes in a car. Everything is yes. <laughs> I'm desperate for a nice thing, you understand? So, if he eventually said, How much a week you're working? I said 150, but I said with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm not like the little light thing, you know? Yeah. So, so I'm just boxing them and said, don't worry about that. I started having 250 US per week. 250 US per week? Yeah, man, that time I have the money that time. Richie, Richie, no, man. Richie, rich. <laughs> yeah, man, I start a picture of me, like a brother, I can't get that thing, I can't move out, of it. you know, rent somewhere. Yeah, man. So we got the NASA and thing. I think it was a Sunday. Like Which year was that? 1978. 78. Oh, March so 12, so, Sunday. So you were at Aquarius for three years, really? Right. Mm. You calculate it. But guess what? When I was leaving now, I feel shame now because I get advice, say, don't tell me such a lie, say I leave you now, because I'm going to discourage you. Because when a boss gets to like him, you know why you leave. You know why you leave. I'm going to tell you all kind of things. So, <laughs> but I feel bad like that, you know, but I have to leave and not say nothing. Mm. So as I reach um, the hotel now, Obama's, I think it was Zemi's Hotel, something like that, I start writing a letter back to the boss, you know. I send it back, you know. So I couldn't tell him, you know. But I thank him for everything. And, right, you know. right. So mm. you were now. In Chris Blackwell's Compass Point student, NASA right. Bahamas. Yeah. At 19 year old, At by 19 the way. Year 19. Old. Mm, yeah. So, what Chris Blackwell hear about you? I hear that Sly used to run joking about people used to tell him about this engineer. Mm. Named Steven Stanley at Aquarius, say, he have a nice frequency sound, you know? Okay. You know? Even the man that used to cut the record, Mr. Musso, at Dynamics, used to say, like, when he made the records coming out, that Aquarius is a nice foreign sound. Mm -hmm. Barry Salmon, One Step Ahead, them tuned up, Willie Linda produced and right. stuff. Art Butler, Book of Life, Pama Woody, them tuned up. Them said, I love the frequency, said so. Book of Life. The, the so you, you were the engineer. Right. So, all right, things. I'm glad you said that. So, mm. before you leave Aquarius, what were some of the, the, the projects that you were on, some of the work that you, you were, you know what I mean, involved in? At Barry Salmon, Soul Reggae, that's the number one. So, thing. That was an album. album. Soul Reggae yeah, album. Yeah, Soul Reggae. Boris Gardner, he did a lot of songs there too. Um, I try to remember everything, but mostly Barry's was um, Aquarius. 
artist. Soul reggae. So with that short time, right. most is, you know, berries. But other people used to rent the studio like Light of Saba, Ross Michael and the Son of Negos, Cedric Brooks, you know? Different, different people right. come and you overdub. Some, some of them is mix, some of them is overdub. Mostly overdubs. Mm. But the first mix I ever do, I remember, is a Virginia Roy Richards. Right, that time I never leave school yet, you know? I did a one mix of Roy Richards, a blind man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I know Roy Richards. Friend and Company, I'm saying. Friend and Company! It's, it's on the YouTube there. I know Roy Richards, there. man. I know yeah, the man. So that's the first mix. So when I played oh. for my school friend, them laugh after me. I say, I know you there. So what kind of idiot thing that? Is that, that a song say? good? Yeah, that them say. But them don't know. When I look back, they don't really know. They don't know what go on. And they bridge in there, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> laugh after me. So that's the first song I mix. So you, you got some really good experience and, and, and tutorship before you moved to Compass Point then, man? Right. Mm. Because I learned fast, you know. I can't just look on things. Even when I'm driving, the first time I drive, I actually drive by just looking for the driver them, you know. Root. I used to practice them head. <laughs> Root with the clutch. Yeah. So when, when, when the driver teach me, I say, you drive before, man. I say, no, I used to just imagine. Oh, it's gone. I move the car properly. It's just a steering wheel after a while. Me get it. Yeah. After a couple of strides, yeah, man. <laughs> so we learn kind of quick. Yeah, man. So yeah, man. Bahamas are there, though. New Brand Studio. Yeah. And you now started a journey that would lead you to become one of the to become one of the go-to audio engineers right. in the region. Right, right, right. What was the first project you worked on at, at Compass Point? When I went there, it's a good thing. The, the memory good, and I don't drink and smoke. Right. So the memory kind of click. Sometimes I have a little pause. <laughs> Yeah, but that's all right. Well, that's so when I reached right. now, Carl Peterson was recording the project. Um, like Alti and Donna, Alti and the Dan. album Three Piece Suit so and Thing, whatever. Them up to top ranking. Yeah, up to top ranking. They were there. They was completed in that album. Point, Compass Point. Point. Yeah. Me never know that. But before that, I think the first thing they did there was Carl Peterson again was the engineer there. Okay. Him the diamonds. Um, I think he named Planet Earth album. Planet Earth. Planet Earth. So that that was done before I reached. Okay. But there is a play that for me and sound nice. Carl yeah. Peterson, who kid as an engineer yeah. too. So okay. yeah, man. Carl Peterson was the lead engineer when you got there. Right, right. But Carl Peterson, you know, um. He used to travel on the road also, so okay. I think he was really freelancing. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Blackwell will call him probably. I guess you know, you have to do an interview with them. I would love to out. interview Mr. Blackwell. Yeah, man. So, he would tell you exactly how it go. But he come like, say, he used to work with Steel Pulse there, too. I think he do an album with Steel Pulse. Okay. Hans Wirt Revolution, them song there. Mm. Yeah, his compass fine, all of that, though. Okay. So, I think they probably um, appoint him per project. Okay. A freelance, yeah, so, a freelance. So when the project yeah. finish, him can go anywhere he want, all over the world, him can mm. go if he want. Yeah. So the next, the first thing I was put on now is, an engineer came after me, a wicked engineer. I learned a lot from him, though. Alex Satkin. Mm. Yeah. I'm familiar with that name still, but so, I, he's Jamaican. No, him, him come from Florida, I think, okay. uh, the America. He looked like the real life Tarzan, tall year. Okay. He could, he could I get the part of Tarzan? Okay. He looked, I always call him Tarzan sometimes. Mm. Him look, him look like Tarzan. Chess, you know, a nice fella, you know, nice okay. and calm, you know, good producer too. Yeah, man. So Mr. Blackwell put me and him on I Jaman Levi. Okay. Yeah, man. Songs like the album name Ali I M. Song like I got to carry a heavy load. Them tune there. Yeah, man. And if you want, I can talk incident to what happened. Pan thing. Talk to me, man. I got to come I remember one time I Jaman. Um, you know, got nice and you know, nice and quiet, you know. So, him know eat um, certain things to him, kind of particular. Right. You know? So, I remember one time, me and him was going town, right? So, I never really have no license yet, but I can't drive. So, I never <laughs> want to take the risk. <laughs> I, I, I never want to take the risk, but him have him license. Right, so. right. But I noticed while I had a man driving the, the studio, VW, me as a person where... I have a good thing with angles, like, you know, like pool. Right, good right. Good them thing. I realize him now keep the car straight on the road. <laughs> so eventually, him brush one mirror off a fella. But the fella was nice. He said, all right, man, a taxi. Right. So while he was going into town, no, Bay Street, you know, Nassau Bahamas? No, man, never been, been there? there, no. Well, the main street is Bay Street. All of the shop them, pan. Okay. Where you shopping. When you come back home, you shop there, sir. So while he was going, I see a little Cessna flying. Then all of a sudden, it dropped into the sea. I said, hey, Jamal, I played the job in the sea. Turn off now, go look now. Oh, oh you go on and look at the picnic store. Rastaman, I deal with dead. 
<laughs> like, like, give it to me, you know. I feel shame. Just keep quiet. Mm. So we got on and do a thing, but we couldn't get for go. We got to play crash in the right, right, I think right. somebody dead, no. one or two people. You know? So eventually, two weeks after now, Ijaman swimming in the pool. Me and Alex and Ijaman at the pool at the studio. So Ijaman was diving in, man. But him keep diving from the, the deep part and end up in the shallow. Okay. But I think he was a big swimmer. But after a while, I realized him not look so... He started stopping at the middle like and look and I shake it. <laughs> so I'm going to borrow now Alex talking goggles where you, where you snorkel Foot with. Right. Ijaman, um, um, Alex said to him, Ijaman, you sure you know what you're doing? It's a professional thing that you know. Say, yeah, man, I'm a big swimmer, man. What do you mean, man? So I put on the goggles and dive. So it appears like the place in the water get big to him. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, I just see Ijaman start go, come up and down like that. But I could see his eyes in the goggles. It started to look like him in distress and him mm. short, you know. Mm. So I jump in and grab him out and dry him out. And him said, Ja! It's John, him was John, you know. And I never know. <laughs> yeah, but Alec was behind him laughing. The guy looked funny, you know, like a cartoon. I realized Ijaman man was in trouble. Let me just dry him out, man. And from that, in love, man. Ask him. <laughs> in love, man. I'm a friend, man. Yeah. Man. yeah. So mm -hmm. at, at Compass Point, though, yeah, 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 learn the thing even more. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I remember I have equipment now, you know. Right. Because Jamaica never really have no equipment. First like class studio there. there yeah. Right. The outboard here. Yeah. Mm. So we work on that now. Sometimes Alex say, you equalize that. We work together. Right. Because I'm a big, bigger man for me. You know. When I'm 19, probably 29, oh, 10 okay. years old, probably. So we used to work together. We have a team. Mm -hmm, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And he's like a teacher, like, you know, calm and nice. Okay. And I never realized till now that he used to be a marine biologist. Oh. So you have to have a certain calmness, you know? Yeah, man. So the first project now, big project now, we'll put on now. Alex is the producer. Okay. Blackwell. Third World, no, Journey to Addis. Journey the album. to Addis. Yeah. Now that we found love. Now that we found there. love. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. By the way, I forget to tell you. When I leave school to go to Aquarius, Sometimes I have to back up, you know. There's a thing called, there was a thing called youth service. You have yeah, to man, do two years for the government service. before you get a job. So because I got in my khaki clothes, OM T4, I forget to mention OM T4. That was there too. Okay. OM T4, Baga and Roddy and, you know, the, the rest of them. Right, right, you know, right. They were there. So they used to call me youth service. <laughs> as I think them. But I don't mind what they call me as long as they don't call me too late. So I work with it. Yeah, I work with it. So when I went to the to, to Blackwell place now, Ibu said we can't call it youth service again, you know. We have to call it youth sound. Youth sound. Oh, you, you know, youth you know, sound. They come out of uniform now. Mm. But before I reach Compass Band, we do record them at Aquarius, a song called Street Dancing, something like that. Okay. Street Dancing, people. For Blackwell. I guess that's how Blackwell know about me too. Okay. For confirm it, you know? Mm -hmm. And Willie, um, Willie Stewart, the drummer, he said he liked all the drum sound and things. So it was a nice session. But the first, that was the first big project, you said? Yeah, um, Third World. Third World. Mm -hmm. and, and how long, uh, how many projects you did before you started linking up with France and um, Way more. Yeah. Tina. Oh, well, I was coming to the store. Right. Eh, okay. Yeah, man. So when you do um, know that we found love, um, because I live on the compound, some work used to fall in my hand because okay. I'm there. Right, right, right. Punctual. Always on the compound. And I don't really like to go play, go out too much. So always home or at the studio, you know. So Chris Franz and Tina used to live on the compound. Oh. They had a place on the compound. I bought from Chris, I think. Okay. But I never see the title, so don't don't quote Yeah, me. that's all right, right? <laughs> So one time they had an engineer coming in from New York. I think his name is Red Davis. Okay. Um, but I probably could make the flight, so they asked me to record a song called Once in a Lifetime. Once in a lifetime. Da -de -da -de -da -da -da, watching the waters go by. Da -de -da 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 -da. And he talked in the verse then. Okay. It's a big song for them, I think. That you know? that, that was on their I Remain the Light, I think. Remain the Light album. Right. And as a matter of fact, that album was certified gold in the UK. Recently, I think. Well, I'm not sure if I recently, but I know it was, it was... At that time? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm not sure, because I, I don't follow it up. I think they said that it was on their fourth studio album. Oh. Based on the research. Yeah, because I don't know. Because I did a work it out and I said, oh, so he did work on that before he worked on yeah, Genius of Love and stuff. Yeah, that's how they know me. Oh. And how you think they know I can play keyboard? 
Whenever I'm not working, I used to go in the studio because they give me key, you know. Okay. I have the keys to go in anytime I want. So I used to take the the the, the, the instrument the studio I have an instrument room where you can get the keyboard and any little thing. So I used to take the keyboard, take a drum off the 24 track, like remix it down to two right, track, right, right. transfer it to this two track, and then transfer it back to the 24 track and do my little tune them. Oh, That's okay. I write, just for joke. Okay. Mm. <laughs> So because they used to live on the compound now, they used to always peep in. Who's that? I said, it's me doing like a demo thing, man, you know? That Sang time they were in Talking Heads. Uh, yeah, Talking Heads. So they always peep in and say, sounds good, Steve, especially Chris himself. Okay. Chris always about the place, you know? So one day they came up and said, not they, Chris came up and said, Steve, um, Tina and I decided that we're going to do a, a project, you know, and... I'm going to play the drums as usual, and right. she played Pretty. bass as usual, and, and you're going to play, play the keyboard, keyboard. you know? Oh, okay. So I said, yeah, man, but I was stipulation about that. In it. He said, what? Well, I said, when I'm playing keyboard, I don't want nobody in the room because it's going to distract me because I'm not really a keyboard player. <laughs> I hear the thing, right. pick it out, find the song, and, and it takes me a while after we concentrate in. And they said that Lee Perry is going to produce it. Scratch. Scratch never turn up. So we end up, the three of us doing it. Whole production. Yeah. yeah. And long after I realized why it's Scratch never turn up, guess why? Chris said, Chris Franz said that he called Scratch, and Scratch said that he want 1,000 US per hour to do the job. 1,000 US per hour. But guess what? In, in his style, it's not bad, because he used to record one album in one day and mix it in the next year on a four track. So probably must think in that. Okay. It, would, it would be a whole of hours, mm -hmm. so it would be a whole of money. Mm -hmm. It's me working out that, you know. Yeah, me understand. But they never call, they never, it never work out. So three of us end up doing it. And that was once in a lifetime? No, that was the Tam Tam Club, Tam -tam all the Club. project coming up now. Okay. And once in a lifetime, it was only like a little recording I did for them. Okay. Because the engineer never showed up in time, mm -hmm. you know. But, but so they, the they mixed it up. So the once in a lifetime now led into the Tom Tom Club. So because them time I think Talking Heads was breaking apart. Right, you so, know the story. Well, my kind of issue. Yeah, man, I forget about that. Yeah. So they now became Tom Tom Club. Not yet. Not yet. They decided to do a side project. They never have the name yet. I'm going to tell you how to get to tell it. Me, tell but me. you have a different story now. But I assume it was the way I saw it. <laughs> so. um. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like a joke, but it's true. So, when we started now, we had this pattern. Chris said he's going to play the drums first. Okay. So, the first song was a song called Word of Rapping Hood. Word of Rapping Hood. Yeah. So, we're going to talk about that. So, go and talk yeah. about it. So, how we started now, he played the drum first, set up the drum nice, and said, Ready, rolling. And I'm going, play straight, easy. Within five minutes, done. Mm. So, Tina now. Time we'll to play, play bass, bass now, and that's the pattern we keep most of the time. Oh, okay. So she drum, bass, then keyboard. Right, but when my time come, it's like evening now, so they have to leave me alone and so go home, alone up in there. which is on the compound. <laughs> so me alone usually in the studio doing that. So, see the final bass line, boom, 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 bad. Mm. It's simple, you know? <laughs> yeah, why? Well. Remember, they don't have no song for it, they yeah, just man. rhythm them again. So they go on now, so... When I hear that now, the spirit start comes to me. I work by, by spirit, you know. You know, and the keyboard here, and all I could find playing. Pingy neck, pingy neck, pingy neck, pingy, pingy neck, pingy neck, pingy, whoop. Like a little freaky thing. <laughs> but when I do that, the whoop, I uh, hold the, the, the modulation. Okay. It gets sound freaky. Whoop, 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 okay. You know? So when I did that now, when I come the next day, I hear the little thing. I said, it sounds damn great, Steve. Yeah, man, I big me up on thing, and... Then when everything like that finished, they, they write the lyrics out, they carry it up, up, up the house. Oh, okay. And right. You know? So after you build the rhythm, then right. Right to it, right. And every time they cover the lyrics, it's always wicked. <laughs> but I remember while I was voicing that song, because you're rapping, right. I used to have to be guiding them to go me full of rhythm, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I would race and I have to go back and say, go back and do that more, relax right there. Slower. Yeah. Right. You know, mm. Direct them like. You so know, you were producing, man. Yeah, producing. That's what I was doing. That is what you were doing. Yeah, I was the co-producer with them plus a keyboard. Right. Yeah. So, you know, while I was voicing that song, I realized that it never had any hook line. 
so I, I think come to me and say, probably you should put like a nursery rhyme as a hook line, like, I think you should have a, um, like a little hook line in it, man. They said, like what? I never really have the idea yet. Right. It? I said, probably like, oh, McDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's the chore of the rapping. Right, okay. Something to sing along with. They said, Steve, we have a thing we used to do in France when we were living there. I said, let me hear it. Ram, sam, sam, ah, ram, sam, sam, kuni, kuni, kuni. I said, yes, man, I eat that. that. <laughs> yeah, man, I just work out. And, you know, fit right in, man. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> and then after that, all of the, the, the old dubs come after. Like, we sent for a guitar player like Monty Brown. Okay. Used to play at a band called T Connection. Mm. By Bahamian band, but they have a big tune called At Midnight. At, At midnight, midnight, I've got so much. It went good on the chart. T. Coakley, I think him named the lead singer. Yes. And then you have the drummer that thing too. One call himself again. One bird. And I'll forget his name. Yeah, but but research it. I was so, like, I can't remember the name. Yeah, we understand. We understand. I think now, so uh, so the first thing you guys did was... um Rapping. Rapping Hood. Yeah. Tom, yeah. Yeah. But... Listen, oh, I thought Tam Dam Club came, the name came right, up. Right, can you not tell me that yet? There was an engineer from Channel One that came up to do, I think, um, Gregory Isaac, Bunny Tam Tam, them call Bonnie him. Bunny Tam Tam. So I'm used to working in Studio A, I'm in Studio B. Okay. So I'm always come and check me. But I'm always I want this, like, T-shirt, in my bunny on the front. I said, Bunny, turn around. It blank. So I said, Bunny, don't come back in here. You don't want the Tam Tam on the back, man, because your name incomplete. You can't have money and don't have Tom Tom. Bonnie so Tom every day Tom. he come inside, I used to tease him with that. So one day here, Chris said, that time you used to have a group called the Culture Club, too. Okay, Boy right. George. Yes, yeah. Boy George, right, right, right. Hitting right, the charts right. that time. So one day, Chris Franz said to me, Steve, I think we should call the name of this group the Tom Tom, Tom, Tom Club. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Is that's that's saying. where you get the name? Yeah, man. But on an interview that did, it's something, something different, different. So. I was just guessing. I feel what I work with. Yeah, yeah. I was, he said there's a place over there they call it Tam Tam, but I don't know it. Oh, we don't and know I it. And I live there for a good while. Oh, okay, we don't know yeah. it. Yeah, what he said, I don't know it, but the people them don't know it so either. So, Bunny Tam Tam may have been the, the inspiration. inspiration. Right, for the thing. But I don't Tom, know what to say. And because you're interviewing me, I have to make sure the world here. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to hear. But they're true that. They're going to hear. So, no, which was the second. Track that was work because so, hold on, so let me slow this down now. So, the, that body of work became titled the Tom Tom Club, right. so self titled album, right? So, we talk about Rapping Wood, right? right? Which was the next song on the next that project. song now is the song Genius where the of rapping of tear up all of Europe, Belgium, all of one, two, one. So, it was chart. released as a singer, yeah, before. Oh, okay. So, the next thing now is the Genius, Genius of, of love. love. So, Chris Franz is the mastermind, you know. And Tina does work. Tina is like the lyricist. They're good mm. pan lyrics. Right. But I'm not for the lyrics then. <laughs> so, Chris Fans, I want to be like more bounce to the ounce. But I'm a favorite tune. Me used to rinse it out on my car. And the cassette. Yeah, have it to the cassette stretch. <laughs> so, I always play that every day in the car. Boom, 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 boom. Shh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, man. I say, yes, Chris, man. Yeah, I have it. Kid. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, same pattern. I'm going to play the drums first. Mm -hmm. But guess what game problem? I'm there for a while. Remember, it's five minutes for the first tune, you know? Right. I'm there for a while because I don't really play funk, you know? Oh, okay. I play rock and roll. Rock and roll. So I realized while I'm playing, it, it keep missing and it's not pro tool where you can just patch it Patch it, right, right. You have to go again. So I'm there for about an hour and I can't get the, the beat. I always slip up because the double beat hard for playing. Tup, 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 tup. Okay. So I said, Chris, I have an idea. Leave out that double beat because I think that's what giving you the trouble. So I said, all right, let's try that. One take. And it luck. It luck. So what I do now, use my finger now on one of these equipment, AMS delay, 150 millisecond. I'm punching every first beat. Tutup. Tutup, you know? Delay it. Mm. And I can't prove it because up to, do, up to now, live, I still can't play it. <laughs> it sounds funny enough, but yeah, that's the truth. still can't that's play it. Truth. Yeah, man, it's true. Yeah. I think mm. Sticky Thompson and Tyrone Downey. Yeah, they came ended up after now. Played, that's because they were there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Tina suggests we do some overdub with them and somebody sang them. The oh, after song them. Oh, okay. Yeah, but the, this Genius of Love, the main song. Right. After he played that, I tell you now, a little story on yeah, the man, Genius no of problem. Love. Like I want the world. I got a big tune, I tell you, so we're going to talk a lot about it. You know? Right, because yes. they're talking something different, you know, that it's not so good. Oh, okay. You know? But I realize why. I, I'll tell you when I finish. <laughs> 
So after that, no, my time to play the keyboard now. So, you know, so, no, before I go, there was a thing about the bass too. She's there searching for a line. Do you know? The first song, she, quick, quick, she find a line. She loves the slide and a woof. She's good pan slide. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah. So while she was searching, you know, she was kind of getting frustrated. Probably she was tired too. She did say it in an interview though. Oh, okay. But she always come to me and say, you have an idea, Steve. This thing is giving me trouble. That time I don't work out a line on my head already. I invert more bones to the ounce because I'm good at that, you know. Right. I can hear one bass line and change it up. Sound close, but it's not the same thing. You can't sue me. <laughs> so while she was playing it, I work in a slide right. with an inversion of boom, 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 boom. So I go boom, 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 boom. Put in a slide. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. But I never give her it, you know. She asked me when she tired, you have an idea? I say, yeah, long time. Play this. Boom, 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 boom. So she started playing it. But she keep messing up there. Whenever she slide, right. she would come back and drop it. Mm. So I'm there about our punching in, punching in. And she, she get frustrated. All my fingers start to get frustrated. So, <laughs> so she say, you have an idea? I say, yeah. Let Kendall stop play it. He's an assistant engineer learning. But he was really a bass player. Oh, okay. he, he was even sleeping because it was getting late. And he can't stay up late. Okay. So I wake up, Kendall, and say, Kendall, my what lines here play? Play this. Do, 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 do. One cut. One go. Because easy for him. Because mm. he's a funk bass player. Right. Yeah. But, but I notice they don't talk about that part of the story. Oh. Yeah. And even now, if you listen to them live, it still don't play properly. Because Kendall not they're playing. Yeah, Kendall is a real bass player. Mm. So you then now put on your keyboard for it? Yeah, they're gone home now. So when I do rhythm now, I started by doing this. I think it's Prophet Fire program. I was switching between 13 and 11. So I was playing. But I realized when I play back, say, it's kind of messing up the funkiness of the bass. Okay. So I keep breaking it down. Oh, okay. So I keep breaking down till I arrive at. Because then you go. Tum, tum, tum. Tip, tip. Tum, 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 tum. So you get a little intertwined thing. Mm. So that's how I stop right there. I say, yeah, man, the bass feel nice when I stop it. And that's how that phrase came out. Came and the rhythm yeah, man. for the genius of a lot. So the next day when Chris come and yes, yeah, Steve, sounds good, man. Yeah. Mm. So they write the lyrics now. I've been reading my write the lyrics. Right. When they come in, I have to be guiding them too because they never really sing before. Okay. So they were singing, I'm... In heaven, it's supposed to be a lead, Tina, and her two sisters, first harmony and second harmony. But I realized after being there for probably a hour or two again, guiding them. Now nah, work. Let me tell you the joke. While we're guiding them, eventually they get it because I realize each of them throwing each other up because of harmony singing at the same time. Okay. When the lead sing the harmony, kind of, you know, then I used to it. Mm. But eventually I get a thing going, I sound all right. But while I was leaving, the secretary at the front, Glenda Bastian, she said, Steve, who's that singing? I said, Steve and her sisters. Man, that ain't so good, man. I said to myself, rotted. <laughs> if she can hear that, I mean, I have to voice it over. Because I could have passed, you know. Right. So if normal people hear it, because she's not a musician. Right, and she so does next, that. So the next day I suggest to them now, three of you sing the lead same time. Oh, okay. I'm in heaven. Hide it. Three of them sing the harmony. harmony. First harmony, hide, hide it. it. Last harmony, third one, hide it. Then Play all them together. together. So what you're actually hearing is nine voices playing. You can't hear like it flanging naturally. Oh, that's beautiful yeah, stuff, man. man. But it's the spirit leading me now in all this thing. You know, I have a spirit inside me. I say, do that, do that. You know? And I'm full of energy. Mm. Mm. So the genius of love was born. Can we go talk about it again? We soon come back yeah, about man. it. But we said now, um, but, but Uzziah, I... Sticky Thompson, and Tyrone Downey played on it as well. Overdub. You said do some overdub. Not, not on that. Not on genius of love? No, not on that. Let me tell you how it go now. The same guy, Monty Brown, he used to come play pool with him as really our friend. Okay. You know? Not their friend, our friend. We used to go watch him play. I even get a little production before um, them. But they never came off the ground. Okay. Where Black Hill wanted to produce that band as a NASA um, project. You know? Because I have a deal with the government, I think. You know? so, okay. And, and he was going to call them NASA. You know? So the guitar player from T-Connection was in that band. Keyboard, some keyboard player, I forget the name. 
lead singer. We had a band. They, were, they had a band going. But eventually, when all the songs done and mix off, it, they, it never put out. But I don't know why up to this day. Okay. You have to do an interview with Mr. Blackwell. I would that. love to. Yeah. Make the link now, But I feel I know why now. There was a manager that, that loved to overtalk. He one day what he said while we were listening. The music stopped. He said to Mr. Blackwell, Boss, I think this one is going to make you a lot of money. Think mm. about that. The man have the money already. He <laughs> 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 him, him overtalk himself. Right. So I can't tell Mr. Blackwell. He man annoyed. He became annoyed. You know. He started to annoy even me. Okay. And I'm not the boss. Mm. So yeah, I said to myself, why well, don't keep him out shut sometime? His name John, you know. <laughs> I, I, I never forget his name, John. But eventually, yeah. they, they never released that. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I remember a song named You're My All and All. That was like a, a semi r and right. song. This song good. Right. So on that album now, which was Tom Tom Club first album. First album. Right, which is Tom Tom Club. So it right. spoke about... Um, Word Rapping Wood. Word Rapping Wood, yeah. That was number one on the UK chart. All over one and two. Within one, and one two. to five, Belgium, yes. Alan, No, Germany. it was, all right, I think it was number seven on the UK chart and it was number one on the Billboard um, dance chart, I think. I think so, probably. You do your research now, something I forget now. things, middle look at things, you understand? Mm -hmm. Then now, under the boardwalk, I think that was a cover the, of... Yeah, it is a cover. I don't remember who did the original, but I think it was I think it's the Drifters, right? That was number 22 on the UK chart. Right, I don't think you telling me now, I never, after a while, I remember yeah. working in you know, so it. Right. I started getting busy with something else while yeah. that one on the feet thing. And so. Genius of Love now, was number 31 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Right, but it was number one on the dance chart. On the dance chart. Yeah, man. But the album itself, no, I think, peaked at number 23 on the Billboard chart. You too. telling me, I don't even remember so that. So a whole heap of success right there, see? Right. No? But we don't know talk about success at all. No. <laughs> it was certified gold, the album that is, in July right, of 2022. Right. Have a copy, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you got a gold plaque right, based on right, the research. Right, right, right. Nice, man. Yeah, man. I have a couple of things to collect here. And don't collect it yet. What, what make? Let me tell you what I'm supposed to call it. Maxi Priest, remember uh, the song on that mix? Right. Um, Sean Paul, I'm still in love with Sasha. We'll like... get to all of yeah. that, man. Right? So you're not going to kiss it you, you need a day, you need two days for this, you know? <laughs> straight, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so watch it out. So we could talk about some more things. Yeah. Zin, so Genius of Love is one of the most sampled songs in the world. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give thanks to you. So we could talk about some of the people that were sampling it now. Yeah. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five sampled yeah. it in 1982 on their It's Nasty, the Genius of right, Love remix. Right, right, right. Nice yeah. one. The amount of people sampling, yeah. I lose track of it. Yeah, me, me I said I can't remember some yeah, of them. Yeah, man. Old Dirty then, Bastard, I think. That, we soon get to that, yeah. man. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde right, sampled it. I don't right. know if them sang me with them sampled it and turn it in. But I know them sampled it. The Executioners yeah. sampled it. Yeah. And now the biggest sample based on success is 1995, Maria Carey and Fantasy. That is when I learned about publishing now. Go and talk. <laughs> yeah, man, that is when I never know there was a thing called publishing. So you don't know that all now? After, no, after? No, I never know that till oh, a yeah? fellow named Ivan Berry. I was mixing inside the studio, a group called Dream Warriors, a Jamaican group out of Canada. Right. I'm mixing in there, and he was always calling me rich. Say, you're rich again. I said, no, man. I never <laughs> produce it because I'm making producing money out of the Tam Tam Club, you know. Right. But I never know, you're supposed to make, if you create things, you're supposed to make money out of that too. I never know. Is him telling me? So he got his lawyer now, Mr. Lawrence Lyles, at the same time, you know, and call him and say, so and so, and he say, yeah, man, and I sign up things with him. And eventually salvage after the fact. After the fact. Because the statute, statute, I can't statute call it. of limitation. Statute of, I can't call it, you know. Yeah. Statute of limitation, catch me. 15 years, that was the 16 years I find out. So I lose all of the money there. So eventually I get a like 4% and some of the things like Genius of Love, 8 and some of it, you know, a salvage. You know, that's how I get that little thing. Ja, ja. We don't mm. talk ja. <laughs> Because after Mar after Kiris um, Sam put it on Fantasy, big song. Yeah, big song. Big, big song. Yeah. She and Old Dirty Bastard remix it right. again. Right. So some food would end there so too. Right. You see what I mean? All right. So we still don't know that. Return of the Mac by Mark Morrison. He sampled it yeah. as well. Even Ziggy Marley sampled a piece of it. Oh, know. me never. No other one. Down. Yeah, he put it in remix. Oh. Tumbling down. Remember they produced Ziggy Marley one at a time, you know, Chris and Tina. Oh, I never know that. So I don't know how it gets in it. You have to do an interview with them for that. <laughs> if they are willing, I, I am willing. I just say they're willing, man. 
They are um, probably the inspired them to put it in there. Oh, okay. But it's in tumbling down too. So that piece of work that just happened because you were there and I mess around the keyboard yeah, and I feel something that's what I feel. became something yeah. historic, man. And you know what, Tina, remember, I was listening to an interview with her. She remember that she was telling the panel that, oh, she met me. I was doing a song called Tropical Depression. <laughs> but it's not Tropical Depression, you know. Yeah. I was doing a song called Depression Control. Depression but Control. But I don't, I sing the... I sing myself like harm and everything, because I can't do a little singing in there. Oh, okay. But I that. play instrumental in the verse then. So oh. I go, depression control will give you soul. Depression control, you will never grow old. Quack, 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 quack. And I take it over with the instrument. Oh, so they used to okay. peep in I hear me sing, you know, singing that. that. Yeah. But but you forget the name right. It's depression, depression control. control. Not tropical depression. Mm. Genius of love, man. But the entire album did well, but that was a song now that really and truly Mash up the place. kept that album going down the years right, more than anything. Right. Till even recently, as you supposed to have on that thing. <laughs> Lato, do it over. Lato. Big, big energy. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to see that still. You don't see that? No, sir. You drop off of the rear, no, no, man. No. <laughs> then, then, that, so yeah, Lato do it again. Add a little life to the pocket. I don't yeah, see no yeah, car. Man. Naturally, man. Not, have, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Bad, <laughs> especially after COVID. After COVID. Yeah, man. Can all of a studio work then I go on during COVID. Right. So, I like, just like jaw work. I just jaw yeah, work, man. man. When I see the rear, man. You just pop up again and it did well. But I don't power of good music. Yeah. Right. Father Stanley. Yeah, man. Good music can never die, you know. Never die, Somebody got to take it up and brush it off again. Right. And the bank account, I go put it on the way. Yeah, because it's nice. <laughs> and bank account, I mean, look at thing in there. Yeah. Like, you can put it in your card and I'll and worry about out, eh? I want everything to go. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you're a brown man. The brown man has money. So when they reject, embarrass you see it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so now, that's a greatness lesson. Yeah. See? We're going to talk about something great again. You worked on 1984, the Anthem album by Black Uhuru, which became the first reggae album to win a Grammy. That's right. Talk to me about that. All right, now, <coughs> before that, um, Black Uhuru used to carry up Black Uhuru now to mix. They used to record a channel one. And come up, come and mix. And mix. So, me and Slayer Robbie, yeah, mixing. Oh, you understand? okay. You have a thing going. Mm, and me and the controls and them, that, you know? I fly, you know, with the run with joke and we feel nice. And I'm staying in the compound, though. Okay. So like fam Billy. I remember Rob used to like this cake. Um, it's like a coconut cake. A place called the Reef. Mm. One day we're gonna make him taste it. We have to go buy a whole cake, man. I love it. Mm. Yeah man, Robbie, Robbie <laughs> love him cake, you see man. I never know him big cake, too, you know. Till Robbie a baker. Yeah, we never know till last week. <laughs> yeah, so we have a good time there. So we used to mix the black hole record at channel one. I think the first one was what? Help me out. Is it Chill Out? I'm not sure. That, that was at Compass Point. Yeah. But guess what? We're mixing that thing and I eventually see Ducky. Ducky used to say to me, Boy, on the mix and I have a voice and the background vocal and some of the reverb. Oh, because so you, they never sing perfect. So you guys were adding things to it to get it all you wanted to sound? Yeah, because it never sounds so perfect. So we have to kind of try a thing with the background. Mikey always sound perfect, you know. Okay. But sometimes they harm and they're slightly off and them time they went on an auto tune, you know. Right. So we have to use some reverb tricks. And to kind of get the get a sound. So yeah. Ducky Simpson was the one who was complaining. Yeah, him always said to me, you know, like, I know, so him always look serious and thing, but <laughs> me never really feel that the face still got me right. get used to them to have you. Right, right. Yeah, so, so when I eventually get it now, we did like two albums before the, the Anthem. Before Anthem. Chill Out and Red. Okay. Right? So those were recorded at Channel 1 to unmix at Compress right. Point. Right. Oh. So the next one now, make a record now and, and mix everything now, I'm glad. Because we can direct the, the, oh, the voices wanted. and guides to make sure everything go right. And set it up more on it. So when mixing it, not that difficult. Mm -hmm. So I remember one at time recording like, What is Life? What the is voice. Life? Yeah. What is life? Me are singing easy, easy, you know. <laughs> and then it's a problem, we are punching, punching. You know, till Mel says something to Puma, she gets vexed. Me can't talk it on this. But she gets vexed, man. But eventually it works. She vexed for two hours and then come back, one lick. And Just a little work. vexation there, make sure you get a vibe. And, you know. Thing works. And the way me drill a uh, ducky with it, him call me, him say me a slave master. 
What are they doing in love? Because Mr. Ducky, if you want to win Grammy, you have to record the thing right. And I remember you always a complaint, say, we have put the reverb. When it's right, we don't really have to put, put some reverb in it. Right. And we did our work on every song till it sounds reasonably nice. So mixing time now easier. You know? And so nice yeah, it was that it became the first reggae album to win a Grammy. A Grammy. 1984 yeah. and 10. What a coincidence, yeah, man. Like and you know, so all I got was a certificate. So you didn't get a plug for that? No, because I realized Ducky do an interview and him say him, him want to get like three Grammy. But I know him probably exaggerating because you don't get Grammy unless you name that on it. Right. Him say if him didn't know him, like a Steven Stanley one guy, you know, I really get one of the, the thing there. The Grammy itself. Right. Yeah. Oh, you see? Oh, probably you forget one and wait, wait, three, where you get. Yeah, that's him saying that, but it's impossible because I'm in the name. What I'm saying. What I'm saying. He may run a joke and say, he might be at the house, tell him that I start playing with it, tell him it drop and broke. <laughs> listen oh. to him in the view. I think it's on YouTube. <laughs> but it's like a fun, fun yeah. thing to listen to, yeah, man. Congratulations, man. Greatness, yeah, that man. Well, so, man. So, from, from Tam Tam Club to the Anthem. Right. So, we spoke about Tam Tam Club and we move into the anthem. What were some of the other projects that did well between those two bodies of work? All right, there's some work that fell into my hand. <laughs> All right, there's this song called All Night Thing. Whoa, Grace Jones? No, no. Clarence Burke and Clarence the Invisible Burke, Man the Invis Band. Ah. He came there with the engineer to mix the song, nah, you know. All but me live on the compound, remember? I was always passing and hear the mix and say, how oh, do have them things that so low? May I right. hear the instrument that want to come up in there, but that's not my business. Right. <laughs> so eventually the person that was managing the group, Alex Masucci, I get to know him from Third World. Mm. Come used to do a little work with Third World on the oh, road. Okay. Nice fella. I think he's Italian background. Okay. He's in New York. Yeah, man. So I think about three different engineers mixed that song. And before then you got it. it. Before I got it. So Alex, sat, uh, not Alex, King, Alex Masucci said, why don't you give Steve a try? Is that me the one here? <laughs> yeah, man, we just get in and get in for the groove, and It's going to be a all no. night thing. Yeah, man, nice tune. Pum, nice pum, tune pum, for pum, two, pum, man. Yeah, man. It's like a, it's different than the rest. The invisible man. The, the melody, man. everything. Yeah, yeah, man. And it went right on the, the dance chart, I think, number one, and number the billboard dance chart. Yeah, man. Strike again. That's one of the songs that fell into my hand. Fell into your hand. Mm. There's a next song that fell into my hand now. Yeah. I think it was about 1984, yeah. um, the Aarons. The Aarons. Yeah. Mm. They came down to, to mix the song and I noticed while I was passing the studio. Land of Hunger. Land of Hunger. Uh, right. Yeah. While I was passing the studio, while I was mixing in Studio A, I was always hearing like, they have the main hook way down and I can't and hear it because I have this ability to know what to put up in you know. Oh, okay. Din -din 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 -din. The guitars and play right. that, but it's way low and the drum and bass too high, man. Oh, okay. So I said, it's just me mixing and I put that on top with the voice and the bass underneath. Then they were like, the mixing it. Then said, why don't you give Steve, Steve a try again? again. <laughs> the first thing I start on is them guitar there. Then put in the yeah, voice. Them up. Then the snare, and then I put in everything to match until it our nice. Went number one again on the chart. Land of hunger. Yeah. I'm taking these things for joke, you know, but the world not taking it for joke. Yes. You know, but it's so good to me. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so since as you led me down that down that road, is it? Mm. We, we, we could talk about some of the other things that you would have you would have been on. I think you did some work with it. Chad Jankel right. of the black of the blackheads. Right. right, but before him it was his friend, um, Ian Dury. Up is, Minster is album. Up, up up Minster album, I think up you did Minister, with it. Yeah. I think I did that first, and then Chad get to know me, and then I did some some, some work with Chad, a uh, Jenkel, right? Jenkel. I forget the last yeah. name. Chad, Sometimes I said Jenkel. Chad, J well, Jenkel. a Jenkel, J A N K E L. I spell it. I don't know. know the spelling. Right. Now that I mess it up. So a Jenkel, we are work with, right? right. I, I think I did some work with Lizzie. There's class Mercier, well. The Mercy, yeah. Yeah, I have a thing for that. At, at the clue, the clue, yeah. But me, I said the But we said the clue. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is French. French. Yeah, then me never. Listen, I, I, I was French school, but we don't got a French school. Y'all probably for. <laughs> me have a hard time. It's years me take for practicing. For practicing. Yeah, man. Yeah. You also did some work with Gwen Guthrie. Gwen Guthrie, Sly Robbie project, you know. Okay. Yeah, so we did that together to me, the engineer, Sly Robbie. But I get the co production on that too. Okay, nice yeah. one. Nice. Along with the, the same Black Hole co production thing. Uh, Mm. So I even write two songs on it and, oh, yeah? and, and two two albums that she did. Okay. I think the first album, the song was For You with a Melody too. 
I write that yeah, song. Melody it's a song that I did as a demo. You know, I tell you, I was always yeah, holding always out. Holding her out. I really wrote it for my brother that got licked off his bike on South Camp Road. Okay. And I heard the news in Nassau, I thought he was going to die because he was con unconscious. So I find myself way in the morning and the piano feels sad. Oh. Thing, find some cards, I don't know where it come from. And I start playing some cards and the words start coming to me. I want to sing a song for you. But in the morning, about 7 o'clock, I hear the good news. Eh? It was just unconscious. Am yeah, I right? You are right? I changed it to a girl song. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that did, did <laughs> yeah. So, so I did the demo anyway, and while the world's working on Gwen album, she come with her songs them and everything. Sly right. him sang them too, because um, Sly writes songs too, as you know. You know right. So he had a song that Grace Jones supposed to sing, Peanut Butter, mm -hmm. which eventually was Pull Up to the Bumper. Pull Up to the Oh. But she never liked the lyrics, so she never sing it. That's the next story I'm skipping now. We'll soon come around to Grace Yeah, Jones, but it, it was first still, you know, but it was first, all right. Yeah. As I said that though, how many siblings do you have? How many siblings? All right. Siblings, what do you call siblings? Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> all right. We have Beverly Riley, Jeannie Lee, you listen to the last name now. Yes. <laughs> then you have Patrick the Cambry. Yeah. Then my mother got married to Fred Stanley, the singer and technician. That is you, that you're yeah, your man. father. So I figure why too, because my granddaughter was a Christian lady, you know, my oh. mother, mother. Seventh-day seven Adventist, mm -hmm. so probably the church sister is work, working it over. I mean, you used to say to her, you can't have your okay. daughter having some of the different guys, you know, right. different last name. And I bet you I saw it go. I saw it go for you. So, <laughs> she said, you have to get married, man. So she married to my father. Mm -hmm. Then after me, you have Peter, Jimmy, Susan. Then you have Joey. And then you have Gary. And then you have David. So you know, my mother have ten children. Big up, mommy. Strong yeah, lady. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, my mother have all, 10 children. All your, all your siblings are still alive? No. Um, let me tell you who died. Um, Gary died. Gunshot wounds sustained in Reddy's Road. Doing bad things. Oh, okay. Um, my sister died first, I think. 20, 2009. On my birthday. On your birthday. She was always sickly, though. She had a thyroid problem. She oh, okay. So she couldn't keep her weight proper. You know, and she couldn't eat certain things. I still eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she, she suffered from, I think, her heart fail after a while, oh, okay. 46 years old. Okay. In public hospital. So, mm. and then Myers died after. Okay. I read his own. I think he was into some. Something again. Yeah, something, something. And then. And, and it's after him gone, people tell me. You know, okay. And then recently, my brother that followed me, Peter. Peter. He got a stroke in 2012 or 13, one of them, yeah. But he was all right till 20, 2020, he got another one. Oh, okay. And he never make it back. Yeah, man. My condolences is really passing yeah, your sisters so, and brothers. Mommy and daddy... Mommy and daddy died a long time, from 1991. 1991. All in the same year. Oh, and yeah? Because of that, I got a nervous breakdown. Oh, I'm sorry mm, to hear that, I had to take two years off, from I'm... 91 to 93. Oh. Mm, mash me up, but I never know it's nervous breakdown. I thought it was over, <laughs> but I don't believe in them things now. Because my daddy said no such thing as over. It's always somebody said it's on chemically. I know what you don't like uh, and affect you. So, but we still check some Obia man still, you know. But mm. it's a nervous break when you get. Nervous break, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. To yeah, man. <laughs> it make you feel, you go to the doctor, you take medicine, you still feel bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But mm. eventually I get over it. Yeah, man. My condolences really mm. passing and the old mm -hmm. man and old lady and the siblings as well. I'm sorry to hear that you, you, you're treated with the nervous breakdown spell there. Yeah, man. Let me tell you the thing, though. Like, my mother died first, 91 January. Then her brother died, Uncle Raphael, that was telling you about. Right. He, he died in the same end of January. He had a kidney problem. He used to smoke a lot. But he was 72 mm. at the time. And then after that, his wife, no, my father died March, like, he was a March 4th mm. at the hospital. He had a heart problem, too. He used to drink and smoke a lot, too. Yeah. While I was working with Ziggy Marley in Nashville, Jamaica album, he died at the hospital. Okay. Then by May, my uncle Raphael's wife, Aunt Pansy, she died. Then the last person that my granny now, nice lady, in June. So was, how much that? Five? That was within a rough five. Six months. That was a rough year, man. And then some man no cry a funeral, but you must cry your whole thing if that match me up. Mm. Ah, 
you have to cry. <laughs> my people see an ugly face. Yeah, that's all I'm afraid of. Now. Well, I make yeah. it look ugly if I cry. Yeah. Now. If I cry, I get rid of the, 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 the emotion. Right, right. And mash up your system. Uh, mm. you, you did some work with the B-52s. Yeah. Wild Planet album. But, but, but so hold on now, it's second, here we go on in the street, you know, I kind of do the research and find out something really, so you go. Because out in the street, it say you did some work on the Wild Planet album that sold gold. But the research say you got some song, about six songs from here and six songs from there, and did a three remix, three songs six from songs, three songs from there. and did a, a party remix, EP. Right, right. I think it was... Mr. Blackwell set up that. Party you mix EP. Him. Okay. But what, what eventually happened that when B-52 did their first album, I never know them. Red Davis, I think, worked on it. Okay. Nice engineer. Give me some nice tips, too. Bigger man for me. You know, them time there. So, the second album wasn't doing well. Mm -hmm. So, somebody decided that let's do an EP. Take three songs of the first album, three songs of the second album, and dub it. Oh, okay. Get a dub flavor. Right, right. So, I don't know if it's Chris did this, but he put me with a guy, a, a, a DJ, a real dance DJ, Daniel Colum from French Canada. Okay, Quebec. Colum, then okay. Colum. I saw me, I'm calling him. Right, Daniel right. Colum. But I can't talk French anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Such yeah. song. And we take three songs off each album. Him pick them, do you know? And him Chris use picked the, them or Colum? Colum picked them. Okay. Yeah. Because Chris, one thing with Chris, he trusts you to do your work. Okay. When he give you a work, that's your he work. Believe in and him God is you. Mm. You know, if anything, and, and adjustment, though him always like it most times. <laughs> you know, because you'd have to mix it over. Right, him. right. So, we did some, we just dub it. Party! But him do a lot of work with the two track and cross fading. Okay. And he's a DJ. So, we work good together, you know? Mm. So it came out really well. Party Mix EP. Party Mix EP. That sold gold. Right. You know what EP mean, by the way? A lot of people know, saying it now, don't, I don't know, you know. Extra play. Extra play. Yeah, because it's not an LP, which is long play. So it's really like a 45 extra play. Extra play. That's what them told me. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, EP. Extra, extra play, play and long play. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. So now we're moving into the Grace Jones link up. Aye. You did quite a bit of work there, sir, because you did, you worked on the Living My Life album. Right. And I think you played, well, you were on um, Pull Up To My Bumper. Yeah, Pull you Up. You did the original, you did the remix. The original, man. The original. Let me tell you a story on that. You have to pause again. Me I pause. It's Sly, let me know certain things, you know. Right. I can ask Sly to confirm it. When they did the, the first album, I think it's Warm Leather, right, the name. I think, mm. Grace Jones at Compass Bar. Check it for me. I will. I think so. Warm leather it. Um, it's Alex Sat King is the engineer, producer, and that. I was done it. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Sly had a song for our name, Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter, Spread yes. Spread yourself over me like peanut butter. Um, I was passing and hear the rhythm building for it. So, when I passed in, I said, I rhythm there, wicked, man. You know what? I like the keyboard. It have a nice like a phrase, Wally Badaro. Mm. I learned a lot from him though, with keyboard settings. You can put piece piece and overlap. Right. And I'm watching man and bad yeah. come from French Africa, I think. Okay. Mm, nice fella. So while I was passing the room, I, I, I hear that song playing, but she never really use it. So she park it now. They have a tape room, they call it outtakes. Outtakes. Whatever don't use the stories in that room. Oh, okay. So so before that year done, Chris did a song with um, Junior Tucker called The Kick. We the mixed kick. it. Mm. Sometimes Blackwell come oh, and mix it. Oh, you mixed it, that? Yeah, The Kick. Got to have The Kick, rock yeah, on. I know the song, man. Blackwell, when we had a mix it, he was controlled the field and he controlled the subgroup. Sometimes he pushed so the bar. So Chris used to do some of the mixing Yeah, man, they mix it up. They mix it up, man. Oh. Mm. So sometimes he used to come in and say, let me push up that. And, okay, cool, huh? Yeah. Cool. So when I finished mixing The Kick, when I'm walking away, I'm saying, I'm not going to use a version on it. Try to find an outtake rhythm that you like in the tape room that we never use, and just dub it. Oh. I just go for that, that rhythm there. You know why I like that rhythm? It reminds me of Donna Summer, Bad Girls. Bad, Bad Girls. Girl, do doom 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 Beep it in. Doom, doom, doom. See it for sure. So I went on it and just dub it. Pash, pash, pash. You know dubs, do like. By the way, King Tubby inspired me when I was small. You know? Just the way I used the dub. Right. It's a like that, man. Crack, crack. 
crack, crack. You just make nonsense out of the whole thing. And it's sweet. <laughs> and it's sweet. Yeah, man, King Tubbies. Yeah. And it kind of feels sad the way him died. So. Yes. Very sad, man. Does... Very sad. Sure, man. Very sad. So yeah. that now became pull up to my bumper. So Sly, I tell me now the next time she come for the, the album, the second album, Sly, I say, just play the cassette that I did the... It, it dubbing pan. Yeah, and play it on the session while I'm sitting down there. And she heard and said, but why am I with him? <laughs> and that's how she thought right over. Fairly respond top of that. Oh, but it sound good to me too. It sound good for you. I want to say sound better <laughs> with the rhythm, you know, it fit it in. Right. But Sly eventually did Gwen Guthrie and do over that song with a different rhythm now, Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter. So Gwen so Guthrie singing. So, so Sly eventually get the Peanut Butter to sing. Yeah, him <laughs> yeah, eventually spread by the bread. Spread by the bread. Yeah, man, the Peanut Butter. <laughs> Yeah, yes, you also, and a big song, that, you know, big pull song, up to man. my bumper, big, big Riding song. Down the so, city is strange, you sing it wicked, do you know? Big song, yeah, man. man. You also worked on Crying All Laugh later on that album? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get the good uh, work on the entire album. You know you know why, though? Because after a while, Alice Star King that was working, he got big. Oh, so him now come around no more. So oh. him get busy. It's not that him not coming around. He oh, get, get busy. busy. Him start to produce. I want to know what love is. Foreigner. Thompson know. Twin. Um, hold me now and them tune away. Mm. Win one the Dover. Oh some yeah. Big tune. So a big him, tune. Him busy. Big tune. Yeah, man. So yeah. eventually, you know, me I forget some of them work. The car I'm on the spot. And I can just do the work. Right. So I eventually have to do some of the great do mixing and, you know, nipple to the bottle. Nope, yeah, tune, nipple eh? to the bottle. Yeah, man. So it falling, man. A, a good fall, that brother. And it was quite capable, I think. <laughs> yeah. Coming back off or nothing, you know. It's, especially when I know I know it. By the way, let me tell you a little secret. Mm. At Compass Point, they used to have a prize called the calmest person in the most ridiculous situation. <laughs> every Christmas, them give it, we used to win it every Christmas. The calmest, so let's stop it. The calmest person in the most ridiculous, ridiculous si situation. Because sometimes when the, the foreigners come and every little thing not working, everybody panic. I said, don't panic, man. I know what it is. And we fix it because I have maintenance, man, right, and, and, right. And, the, and the compound, you know. So we used to calm them down and, you know, and things are nice. Give them joke. Right. You know, to distract <laughs> them. I have that luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have that luck. And, and that's how the whole of, of, yes. the whole of us stay, you know, the family. Yeah, we are always mm. joyous. Yeah, man, and I used to win the prize till they stop it. Yeah. Can me want to win? Are you all over with it? Mm. I know that you spent eight years at Compass Point, I think. Yeah, 80 years. Because I think you come back 86. 86? Oh, you, you know it, man. June. Well, I come well, back April well, and I went back for my things, June. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, you yeah. the first time. I know. I went back for my things in a trailer. In a trailer? Yeah, for putting oh, all yeah, the furniture there. Setting on everything. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. even before we pick up, what, what was it? Why you, you decided to come back home? All right. From 1984, I did Land of Hunger. Right. I wasn't getting any work for two years. Really? And I started to feel workless. Did I say that word right? Walk yeah, walk list. List. right. Yeah, man, and I don't like getting paid. I was getting paid still in a Oh, weekly. but you're not doing work, work really. Work, so I feel walk list. So I called the boss that was in LA, Chris, again, asked him to confirm mm -hmm. and I said, boss, I have to go with him. So I, I'm not getting any work and I start to feel like, you know, bad. You know, because I hear some little sound. Right, right, talking right, to, you know, right. But they don't want me to hear. I mean, I hear little sound at you. So the spirit said, time to go home. Time to go home. So when I came home now, 86, I, I buy some instrument at the time, the lint drum machine, and I started to sequence up my little thing at my yard for mm. fun. Right. So I take two years off. Then Gusty called me now and woke up in the studio. Works. Music works. Slide road. So I record the first song, Rumors, them spreading. Same the 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 you know the tune, I can't sing the whole thing. Yeah, man. Brooklyn, and and I saw it start. Right. But Gussie is smart, you know, guess what, guess what Gussie do? I said, so Gussie, why you make so much people sing one song? Yeah, man, I have to lick over one song like somebody else, I got to do it. <laughs> and I'm right. You yeah, might make everybody sing, sing. The, sing over the, on the same rhythm, sing over the song them. Yeah, man. Bad man. <laughs> so, you know, we're back home. And I think when you, when you, initially, when you went to Music Works, I think Andel Tucker, Mikey Bennett. A lot of people was there. Were there. Right. When I went there, nobody was there actually. Gussy calling people. Oh, they used to record. come in. Yeah. Okay. Like rumors, I tell you. Right. You know, I think um, Danny Brown had played the bass, oh, keyboard, I think. At the okay. Because we the guitar and play. Right. And, you know, I forget who played the keyboard, but we were, we record the session. Mm. And then you have Silver's learning Mikey, and they do recording too. 
Like I will record and them overdub. Oh, voices. still was there at the time as well. Yeah, that was there as a young young guy, young guys yeah. learning mm. and the job and things. So that was the first real project you were on when you when you went to Music Works at the time. Right. But let me pause you right there again. Yes. You see, while I was in Nassau, while I was in Nassau, I used to come back for vacation when a project finished. And I used to do some free work for brethren like Chalice. Most of Chalice sang them. I still love you. And you name some of the song them man. Right. Not one of the good to be there, the album cut. And some most of the song them is me, record and mix. Chalice. Um, you know the group called Koch? Yes, man, I know Koch, Yeah, we did man. one or two little work, Gene and them tune there. I do a whole heap of little work. Tell me some between. more little work if you can remember them, because I got to come for you, you know. Yeah, I do a whole heap of work. Because as I said, the, the thing is that Stephen Stanley is one of the giant audio engineers, in a, one of the great audio engineers in this space. But Stephen Stanley is not a man who you say, I tell people where I'm doing. So no, we, we no, come, I don't like it. We no. come for dig out them things there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. I just tell you what I really do, because I don't really, <laughs> what I do, I take it day by day. You know? When right. I get that work, I try to reach on time, as you notice. Know right. And because I'm always first as a student, <laughs> right, right. ready for opening it up, you know. Uh -huh. I like reach on time because I don't want to miss nothing. Mm. I set up properly. <laughs> Sometimes I even sweep out the studio, you know. I used to love to do that, you know. Right. Because I don't like when you come check me at my workplace and the place dirty, it's a shame. Mm. So if I come to my work and I see some herb on this, so yes. and some orange peel, peanut trash, I sweep it up. Yeah, man. Nice. I mean, like it, you know. I think you did in, 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 in well, beat. Be good to me. I think that's Cockatish, yeah. Shaba, and Rebel Princess. Rebel Princess Rebel Rocker. Oh, okay. Gossy tune, yeah, Gossy man. Tune. Yeah, man. Um, some more Gregory Isaacs. Um, some Andel Tucker song with Junior Tucker. Junior. Don't test them, Don't. Junior. You mix, don't test? Record and mix by Grove Music. I think I record oh, yes. Grove Junior Music. Told Junior, yeah, Junior, yeah. Junior told me Don't that for true. I think Junior told me that for true. Me yeah. tune. Yeah. Deborah Glasgow from England, she did an album for Gossip too. Okay. Some night, she have a song named Don't Test Me. Oh, okay. Close. Don't Close Test Me. Do Try to hold me over. I can't sing it, but right. something like that. Oh, cool, yeah, man. cool, cool. It's a whole heap of little Just rugged, a little man. longer. Just a little Maxi bit longer. Maxi Priest. Right, them tune there. My love keep going, going strong. I think Adel um, is the right time. Uh, right, because Andel and, 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 and Maxi was doing right. some work at the time. Right. For true. Yeah, man. And they'll think that. Everything that makes sense, man. Yeah, man. That <laughs> drum, you know, yeah, go say, I've been more the same quality, though. So, so you went now. to Penthouse? I, I was at Penthouse first, yeah. Tempted to touch. Well, on. So you were at Penthouse before Music Works? No, Music Works first. That then German Penthouse. Then Penthouse. Probably half a gossip. Oh, German, he bought me. Okay. German, come for me mix a tune before him have a studio. He called One in a Million, Sanchez. One so I mix it at Mix the Lab. Chance but they never released it then two years after. Oh. Two songs on the same rhythm, I think. Live on, it was it. Live on. Mas oh, doom, 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 doom. 1987, Mixing Lab. He released it in 1989 and the place. One, 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 one. Ah, big tune. Yeah, I'm man, big tune in there. <laughs> so we used to do some work with German too, while I was at um, Music Works. Because what I do, I work on Music Works, like Monday, Tuesday, I space my time. Wednesday, Thursday, you know, sometime in the night, if any work, mixing lab, I used to pressure myself, man. But I did fit and well. I never feel like okay. Full of energy. And yeah, man. Holy power, man. It's a big tune. Uh, Marcia Griffiths, Land, Land of Love. Yeah, get play to keyboard, that, man. Though. Oh, you play the key? Yeah, most of the keyboard. 90% of the keyboard. I mean, and Land of Love. Then you play. Panama, na, pop. The answer keyboard. Then you play that. Let me play the, the free, the bridge and everything. I'll be a great, this, uh, this show that's the Father Stanley. Yeah, but the thing is this, you know, <laughs> while I'm mixing, is the spirit say, play that, make the tune better. Right. Because what they did, German gone home, can you just leave me, which, which I like. Right, yeah, but no, your style. And he always have a keyboard there. Yeah. So while I'm mixing, is the spirit again yeah, come so to this, me and this, say, this, this so nice bridge, yeah, could I have a counter melody? So come to me same time. Spa da da dee dee, spa da. Two different keyboard sound, you know. Riff it, different spacing. Yeah, spa, ba, da, da, pop. And they even write song off it, you know. Let's celebrate, it people rain. I mix that though. But they write it up on the keyboard part, them. But see me, a genius about yeah. them parts, you But I never know about publishing. <laughs> but after a while, you're German, you're German. 
I'm about to play no more keyboard for the, the tune now, because just leave them raw. But I'll so, raise one now. Him now. Oh. Why? From 1993, you know, so I stopped playing the so keyboard. So because you play keyboard now, you have to get Publishing. some publishing. But I don't know, I just do it for fun. I'm going to take it. <laughs> you don't mind. But guess what? I used to do two cuts, you know. One with the keyboard, them. And, and one, one without. without. In case you don't like it. Because I wasn't there, you know. Oh. But I always use the one with the keyboard. So nice. Yeah, man. Because I did raw. Because yes, you, you mix sound better when the quality that the, the music is good in. Right, naturally, naturally. It sound raw. It sound alright, but it's really the keyboard and touch your heart, you know. Mm -hmm. And your soul, I make you feel like you want to cry or laugh. I really am touch you my see? heart. Still it goes, you know, it goes a boop. You know, <laughs> the keyboard them kind of put that thing. You know, even love song when they phrase them there, you know. Right. Sweet, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It's not just words. Yeah, I think in... Because mm. you say you don't collect some things, but I think in 1997, you were given an award by ASCAP for some songwriting. Which, 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 uh, which song was... It's the was same a, song, Genius of Love. Genius of Love. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even recently, I get another plaque, you know. From... from, from yeah. What, the, the gold certification or something else? No, it was um, ASCAP Award for the most performed song. I think I have a picture. Let me, let me find oh, it. Oh, yeah? Quick. You need to send me them things in. Yeah, I need to send it. Yeah, man, you need to send me them things in. Yeah, go on and search remember, it, man. You can have this pass from that, you know? Yeah, man. Let me show you a little bit. But guess what? <laughs> let me give this joke about that now. On camera joke? Yeah, man. Oh, okay, all right. On camera joke, man. All right, Yeah. They ask your people, so they send it from September by FedEx. Mm. So if you send by FedEx in America, how long it take to reach Jamaica? Very quickly, man. By the next time. day, right. let's say it, it, it stalled, two days. Right. Two days. A month, me away. I can't get it enough. Yeah. I go FedEx, them say sign up a thing, so the government hold it for, for duty, because they put on it 100 US it value. <laughs> yeah, the plan. So they hold it for duty. And it's 100 to ship it. Right. So I said, all right, so I thought FedEx would clear it for me and I pay them. Mm. I waited three weeks more and I'm still not doing it. So I went there, they said they're not getting a response. So I went out there myself. Mm. You know, I had to pay 15 dollars to clear that. But I don't mind. <laughs> they eventually give me. Yeah, I'm glad they give you, man. Yeah, man. But, and I sick of black, too. Yeah, we can't assume that. Yeah, man. No, so other months of songs we mix it up, because we can't leave out this it up. Yeah, man, you, you, talk, you yeah. mix, I am still in love, Sean Paul, Sasha. But no steely and cleave it through that. Yeah. What so that, you were mixing for steely and cleave it too? Yeah, man. A real legend about you understand Steely it. used to love how I mix. He always he called me Tarzan. You steely know why? love how you mix? Yeah. Yeah, yeah general. Then, you, yeah, you, know, you know why I'm called me Tarzan? Why? One day I was editing some tape, like the two track here. Right. And I dropped all the tape on the ground. I was editing like a 12 inch, joined the version to the real tune. Oh, yeah? Yeah, can't go that, that thing. You know. I used to look at Alex and learn quick, quick. Oh, yeah, good editor. Yeah, too. man. So. He said, um, Steve, how oh, you have some more tape on the ground? They call me Tarzan of the tapes, you know. Tarzan of the so tapes. So I can't do it. I can't cut it and just jungle it up and put it back together. So from that, they call me Tarzan. Oh. So every time I mix it for him, he said, Tarzan. One of the songs was X-rated. The first X-rated song we ever mixed. Shabba. Shabba. Yeah. X-rated. All the girls excited. excited. I know a song, yeah, man. <laughs> They're about six hours. So I said, oh, you do the hi-hat like that. What I do, I put a reverb on the hi-hat, but I delay it. Delay the verb, so it's kind of, you know? Mm. And if you still like the, the little teachings, yeah, man. I can't imagine. So I'm always tell him the thing then. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why Cleaver get a joke then? Oh, we hope to talk to Cleaver one of the times. Yeah, I'm going to tell him some of them. So, the joke, so, then. so he brought that song, come give it to me. He brought it to me. I think a guy named Murray Elias or something, he was. The manager or something, something to do with road, A and R, R, farming. A &R, okay. I know him from Blackwell days, you know. Okay. I met him before, Island Records. I think he used to work for Island, though. Okay. So I, I think probably him suggested, you have to ask Cleve, how would it get to me? Right. But um, it get to me at my studio that I had. In, in the Red Hills Center, Road. Yeah. And that's where we mix it. Oh. I'm still in love. World song, man. Yeah, man. So this now, a way I tell me, say, Lato, um, big, do over the tune, eh? yeah. sample the tune. Yeah. Oh, so for them thing, them big energy. Yeah, it sound good, you know. Me go listen it. She can rap, man. Because I'm not it. Yet. Nice. Me know she nice. She do it justice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice, man. Them things are most nice on the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I need now is, is some space for put more. Don't worry yourself, man. It's a small place, a two-bedroom apartment it's living there. It's my soon brush off on next so song, man. So it gets smallish. And yeah. it, it, it's my soon brush off on next song, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I need space now to put them things there, like mm. a room by itself. Mm. We know them ways, yeah. man. We know them ways. I, I get a lot of little Jamaican awards, you know, like Federation of Musicians. Okay. Desi Young, you know. Oh. Engineer of the Year and them things there. Oh, cool. So, them, them sermon in there keep? Yeah. So, so, but I don't know when them sit in there keep. Because I don't know if you attend them something, you know. Them kind of low key. Find some of my people where I look for. Mm. You know yeah, true. <laughs> I just said them there. I just said them there for sure. Did you work on Never Gonna Be the Same for Sean Paul? I don't think so. No. No. I don't remember that time. Well, I see it somewhere in the reading, you know, but it never said 100%. I, I, so that's what I ask. I do some. I think I do one or two Sean Paul that I forget what it outside, is. Uh, outside of outside I'm of still that, in but love. I can't remember what it is. Oh. It's not everything I remember, you know. I know that way. Yeah, some man out there remember things about me that I never you know, remember. remember that, uh, You've you been and do some great work, though, Father Stanley, man. How good it for work, man, when you really look back. And when you're doing it, you, know, you don't really take it as nothing. You, know. you just do it one day at a time, one day at a time. Get a joke, you work. I enjoy myself doing it. You see that, man. It's like I'm not working. Yeah. It's guess, really guess, fun. Guess what I see when I sit down and I meet Zion. It's just it's a musical genius. I just love what you do. You understand? Yeah, yeah, you know the next person who give me the vibration there? Yeah. Clive Hunt. Yeah, man, I love it too. Clive Hunt, love man. It, love it, love it. My genius, man. Yeah, man, I love it, man. <laughs> and the vibration that we get from you. I'm good for interview, too. You know. Me interview him already, boy, man. Me interview, me interview him already. Sample, man. Yeah, but him say him teach me. He say I, I teach you. Like. <laughs> 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 he did that already. Right, yeah. before him come in. Right, right. Yeah, man, but you know, I couldn't punch the jump by himself, so I have to help him. Yes. So yeah, you man. have been a part of some some great some greatness. Yeah. Regionally, internationally, locally. Yeah. Which one of the projects when 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 you reminisce and reflect give you a joy there? It, it make you feel yeah. I was a part of that and made the happy semi a part of that. I think it has to be the Tam Tam Club. Tam Tam You know Club. why? Because I keep coming back. When you think it's dying, it resurrect mm. each time in forty odd years. It keep coming back. Keep coming back. Work it out. Yeah, man. It must be a joy, that man. Must be a joy. And save your pocket. Because sometimes things get bad, as I said, COVID. Right. Things get tight, and you realize somebody do one song again. <laughs> you know? I'm going to get an issue this year. Give me it. I have one car for 33 years. Because, you know, when I charge for mix and tune, you know, sometimes I have to go low car, they can't afford it. Right. Depends on the pocket. So sometimes I will even help you and do it free. Because I want the tune to come out. Right. You know? But you can't make people take advantage, you know, because some people generally, you know. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, some people really. You know, so my brother said, I'm gonna buy me a new car, but it cannot take long. <laughs> and my promise me about five years, I think. Eventually, I'm gonna buy my boxy man mm. of the Mitsubishi clip for 33 years you now. 33 years. So it's like pure trouble. I can't imagine. I, 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 I can't get the pass them. You make a 30 cheese. Yeah, man. So, are, you, are you never gonna make the pass yes, sir? It, still, I still have it in my still have it. Park, yeah. So eventually, I'm gonna buy the boxy now and I'm surprised me this. I call my son for come pick it up and send down. Mm. By the way, I live on Mobile. Okay. And I park it in front of the yard, on the sidewalk. So while I was watching off the old car now, but it looked good to see me, you know. <laughs> I see the van and look for me like it's a, psst, I'm high, boy. Yeah. Like it's a tell me. And I feel a vibe, say, them trick me and, and I'd van that, when yeah. I promised me. So I said, try, over van that, I'm high, one, right? I said, yeah, what me know? I said, the van that talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> and buy the van for me. Yeah. But you see, before I get to put on the truck and the alarm and everything, they're not going to teeth it out of the yeah. yard. <laughs> Within three weeks or a month. Boxy, I, a hot I vehicle, video brother. Feed. Yeah, I never know that. A taxi man. A hot them, vehicle, I'm, man. I never believe it. A Toyota boxy with a hot. Them three men coming out of the yard, three o'clock, the morning. You have them on video? Yeah, the lady don't say that I have a video around right. I'm going to get that clip, black and white. <laughs> so three men come in, one go by the, the, the driver's side, one go by the passenger side and stand up. One stoop down with a little square thing, like I'll just I do something. Mm. You see, like some lights are flash. Yeah, man, in my the, track. There's a kind of, there's a Chief. link about the tree, so they have blocked some of the, the, the things. Oh, okay. Couldn't see good, but it's dark. After a while, they see, like the passenger side, I can pull the door and it fly. I can't at the key. Then the driver side, that's, that one go around and then push it back. But what's sweet, man, I do is a bad thing. <laughs> the one where I push it back upon the phone, like what I say. But get the thing, you know, easy thing, man, man. Easy, man. Never give me no trouble at all. Why am I pushing me up on the phone? Man? Yeah, that was the last I said that one. Last I said, I Then, lot of things start selling now. You see, money start coming in the account of foreign. Buy back the next van, see it outside, out of the road. 
So God good to me? God good with you, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Come <laughs> like when people progress, and I don't like people bad People progress with you, man. People progress with you. Mm. Me help out people all over. Even if me, me need help, me, me make you yeah. more first. Mm. Yeah, which, 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 which artists or artists you have enjoyed working with the most? Though? When they're when in the studio and you mix them and them advice, it's just a joy. Almost everybody, because guess what? When me go studio, me feel like me at the center attention. So me all, you know, you feel it though. Feel it too. Me always find something for make it fun. Mm. So everybody and me work good together. Everybody and me, yeah man. You have one and two little music still, but yeah, we have that. Yeah, we have even, that. It's not even, it's not even shake the Richter scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have that. Very, yeah, but that we still make it nice and counteract it. Yes. You know, but everybody we work with nice man. Everybody, yes. me not tell a lie. You have had everybody. You have had major success yeah, in the space, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that thing where I mean, know you talk we talk about the the genius of love, right? Thing, but but what is that thing when you think about it? You say yes, I am happy that you know what I mean I achieved this along the journey. You know, if it be not the physical, it, whatever it is. Mm. I always say happy that Mister Aljo give me the little break. Yeah. And then uh, after that, Mr. Chin Lai, trust me, and give me a chance. Mm. And then Mr. Blackwell. Man, the world know me. Oh, yeah. You understand? That All is them it. three go, go together in yeah. sync. That is it. That is yeah. it. That is it. Yeah. yeah man. Musically speaking, where you where, where you off achieve because you, you have Billboard number one, you have UK chart number one, you have Grammy and your belt, you have all sort of thing, gold mm. certification, all sort of thing. Is there anything musically that you still think you'd love to add to your musical legacy? One of them was, it can't work again. I wanted to be the engineer that record Michael Jackson with Sly Robbie singing reggae. Jackson. I always was thinking of that for, from the 80s. I said, so you I, want Sly and Robbie to be the, the, the musicians? Section. And you, you can pick the guitarist, them, um, a lot to pick from right. keyboard, keyboard Mikey Chung. But you wanted you know? to do the yeah. engineering. Yeah, engineering. You know, because you know, so with that's a, a game That's been amazing, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man, I feel right away million seller. Million seller. But, man, man, right? man, I, 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 ja, ja. I kind of vex. Me vex too, so man. Yeah, me vex. Come on. <laughs> but right now, I feel, mm -hmm. when I think in getting a little older, I feel I should have done an album. With me, I sing and I play everything. Why not? Because I have the song them, you know. So record for years, them, man. And I have the, the rhythm them too. I have about, I count them about 70 um, demo. I count recently. It's more than that, you know, but right. I count 70. So I have the line them, everything already, the, the melody, everything. So I would mind doing like one album. So I stop you. And put it out. <coughs> it's just the feel. I work have a feel, you know. Okay. And the feel now. And you don't feel a vibe there? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know? And what I'm afraid of too, because I know nothing about after the studio, I would know what to do to to make it sell marketing. Talk so to I Sly, would, man, I would need and, a, a and team. Man, okay. Is Talk it? to your bridging them, man. You know, mm. I'm not bridging in the space so I do the thing, man. I know the thing. Uh. Right. Talk and, to Gussie and the man. And that is the thing. I'm not a good business talker. <laughs> but I, I know they give a little joke here and there. But right. the business, I'm not a, a business man. Your thing. That's why I don't go to meetings, you know, by the way. Mm. Because the meeting always mash up. <laughs> Everybody start laughing and we forget to go to, to discuss. <laughs> right, right. So I just right. stay from the meeting then. Uh, from Nassau Days. From till Nassau now. Days. Yeah. Mm. And it used to go better without me. Father <laughs> 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 Stanley, well, it's just a job to sit down and listen to you. You know, speak on these things and, mm. and, and, and the job we see now. You. <laughs> and and how oh, enthused and alive you yeah, are when you, when you talk about these things. I get still madly in love with the music, man. In love with it, man. Mm. <laughs> And as I said, there's a lot of in-between things right. that you can't remember right away. I know, me, me know yeah, man. Wolf, but we always say you can't talk again, man. When, we, when you put them together, say, teach, come link me again and we talk again. You know what yes, go. Man. You understand? And, and, as and I ride by an hour, you near, near. So near, I can near. walk it up with the car and I'm start. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, it, it, as I say, I have spoken to a few of the high-profile musicians in the right. space and, you know, I just get this this mad professor vibes right here. You're just madly in love with the music. Yes, man. I like that. We like that. We like that. And again, you are one of the man where, 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 you know, it's behind so much greatness, but some people don't know. Right, they're not going to know right. now. I like it like that. <laughs> but they're not going to know now. Yeah. And as we say that, I so like you're right as well. You're right for people. 
No really, no, but I do a little right there. Uh, and, and, and do the demo thing. When two songs, um, JFC Lab did a song for me, I'm in love. Go say they like it and, and do the reggae version and, and an album with JFC Lab. Oh. If you could take me out I mean, my what the song. You would see where all my thoughts have been. I am in love. It's me singing it first, you know. Fat is to take the dot with my demo and everything. Song good, you know, me a singing, you know. But I'm not really a singer, but it's song good. <laughs> right. So Fat is saying, I'm going to release it. I never said that again. <laughs> so that was, that was that. Mm. Play everything on, you know. But JC sing a version of it. Yes. Yeah. So you know, like, so people who out there, artists, young artists, or people who want to become engineers or producers, if they want to do some work with you and they don't know how to get through to you, how they find you? That's the problem now, you know. Mm. You see, as I go by now, I read 65, I find in that I kind of backing down. Mm. Because the energy is not as tough like when I was younger. Because if I mix a song today, especially with Pro Tool, you have to use your eyes and your ears now. So it's sucking your energy more. You see mm. what I mean? So I find out when I mix a song today, because I take about... Eight hours at least, you know, to, to mix. mix the song. Though sometimes I carry it home first and clean up. Because nowadays they don't record properly. So I cleaned up first. But it's still going to take me eight hours to really Do the set mix. my reverb and stuff, you know. So when I work today, I find out tomorrow, I can't get up. Tired. Tired. <laughs> How you spell that tired? T Y A D. T I A A D. Tired. Yeah, right. tired man. So, so I start spacing on myself to like one Monday, one Wednesday, fr one or Friday. Friday. Mm. But sometimes when I catch two weeks after that, I know, I mean, I feel for dinner, I feel tired, man. Mm. So as I go by, I realize I can't go so hard again, you know? So I will just mix the one on one tune as I get it. As I get it. Yeah, and I appreciate it. Right. Man, and that's recently, Shakademus asked me, asked me to mix the tune. So that's something to deal with, one one. One one. A, a, a brother from foreign name, Ola the Banks. I don't know if you, you know, Banky Banks. Mm. Mm. Him is like the Prime Minister of Antigua, them say. <laughs> okay. Uh, Anguilla, Anguilla. Anguilla. One of those little islands. Him is the Anguilla Bob Marley. Okay. Him up in age now, you know. But him have this big voice. Mm. And him have a son used to play cricket. Omari Banks. Oh, Omari Banks. Far. Me know Omari but Omari him have the high voice. Oh. But him have another son who is a lawyer that also sing, but him have the middle voice. <laughs> so we three of them now, Omari oh. have the high voice, write good songs too. Oladi, him live in Texas, a lawyer, I mix songs for them too. And and Banky Banks. Okay. With the low voice. Mm. Yeah, so I did I do work with them also. Okay. A lot of little in between stuff, man. Lots. But you still don't tell me how people can reach it, you know. Um phone number 990-2541. So that's 876-990-2541. But as I tell you, I'm very hard to get. You might call me. And I feel so lazy. <laughs> me look on the phone and don't answer it. That's how lazy me feel. Okay. So me say, oh, I don't know if I can manage the work today. You know? yeah. In other words, the body I get all it look like. I'm glad I didn't answer when Scotty call you still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's hard, man. I know what I'm saying, man. I'm having you some little issues. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. With, nobody, you know, there's some little, like, um, what, what it was? Two teams, two of them start. Okay. You know, when I get older, two of them start fall out, you know. Mm. Yeah, and you can tell like a flu, and I don't get flu regularly, you know. Yeah, within the past couple of weeks. Uh. So I've been watching the phone and said, can't bother answer. You know, I don't answer. I committed to my, what I tell you, I commit to it. To that already. So okay. because of that, I start working my brain already, so I cannot rest until I fulfill the mm. words. You see? I so that's why I'm afraid to answer the phone. I understand, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, when the cars and come in, you, you, you take what you can take and work with right, what you can right. work with and pace yourself. Yeah. You and the thing is that you work very hard when you were younger. Yeah. You understand? So, yeah, you do anything go. I still work hard, but I don't work every day. Okay. Mm, <laughs> I understand. I understand, man. I yeah, understand, man. I understand. Bigger boss, as I say, it is a job. You sit down and pick your brain. Yeah, man. Pick your brain. Yeah. And realize that you're one of the men that would have done so much work in the space that some people just don't know. Yeah. But they're going to know you now. I like it. I, I like when I'm. Musical genius, I, I like man. It it's a job, man. Yeah, you sit down and yeah. reason with you. And then, I also need to take the opportunity to tell you thanks for watching the channel. I appreciate that, man. Yes, you can't man. tell me about. 
some things yeah, and yeah, say, yeah. they match up. I can't tell you about who you look like and stuff, yeah, man. Me appreciate that, yes, man. Yeah, man. For your man of your musical talent and experience, if you find value in you know what I do, yeah, that means a lot. And as I tell you, I was putting down the e interview for watching later. Because I said, I have half time when everybody goes to sleep. Because I love you, he comes out and makes me laugh, you know. I love yeah, him too, man. man. You're going to need watch time it. still. Yeah, man, I'm going to watch it, time. man. And I'm doing a part two, right? That, that I know of. Oh, I thought you said I was coming back. The, the, well... You need to come back, though, because I have a lot to talk about, too. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, would they hear? Would yes, they hear? Yeah, that's what I said. It's a joy. Keep up the good work. Who don't stop, man? I just say anytime yeah. anything click in your mind and we can't get to our, our reason out of it. Yeah, man. Just let me know, man. No problem. You understand? Man. It's a joy, brother, brother. And for what you have done to the music, with the music, and for the music, I sincerely appreciate yeah, you. You understand? Yeah, man. Thanks. And a people like you, as me always say, make we can do what we are doing because you would have been the one behind some of those massive songs to some of the people that we are interviewing. Right, right. Big up yourself, for understand? Yeah, man. You understand, Father Thank you. JC. Yeah, JC. <laughs> I like the short name that they name. JC. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. <laughs> yeah, well. why, why are you close on the studio up on Red Hills Road? Oh, yeah. I forget. You're supposed to ask me that. Right. Know. The studio on Red Hills Road now, it was an idea given to me by a cousin of mine named Michael Donaldson. Okay. He said, Stephen, why don't you open up your own studio? I said, I don't really have that strength of cash. Because you know, students that are play play things. You know. It's not cheap. It, it if can't you work by, you mix two songs and you build a studio. Mm. When you mix them two songs for the week, you just go to the supermarket, pay a light bill and stuff, you know? So it work. So, my cousin said, why don't we rent one of them places like, where just open up like Seymour Avenue, you know, a nice place up there, and in the Trade Center. Right. That time I never realized him drive me and show me trade Seymour center. Avenue and the Trade Center. center. Oh, okay. So I just said to my brother Jimmy now, who, he have some cash because he used to... By the way, my brother have his children in his 40s. So all his younger days, he was working, making money, accounting. <laughs> right. In, in the real estate in Panama, he used to buy houses cheap and fix it up and sell it back. He, he have good contact. Mm. So he said to me, why don't make me and Phil? Phil is in Britain from Nassau. Oh, okay. Where, airline engineer. Where um, he, he, lived to, he lived down in Mobile, Freeport area. So... He said, why you don't, um, I said to Jimmy, I, I need to build a studio. It's a long time I was waiting on you to say that, you know. <laughs> Me and Phil can help you out, because you're always helping people, so we can help you out mm. with a studio. Okay. To find a spot, man. So we lease, we find a place in Tracy and lease it from Mr. Mark, uh, Mark Chin, I think his name was, yeah. We lease it from him, you know. And then they start providing the money to start building. It took nearly two years. Okay. You, you know, Chuni, Oswald Palmer, he was working at Joe Gibbs. Mm -mm. He was an engineer, still is, but he started the design studio in Miami. Okay, in Miami. cool, cool, cool. He built Barry Studio at his house. Oh. And also, down, you know, Dunbarton. Right. So, it's while I was working at Barry's, I realized the kind of material used, I thought it was foreign material. They said, no, man, you can get it local. That's Phil's hardware. So, when I said to Jimmy, they said they'll provide the money to, to start it. So we lease the place, pay for it monthly, and then we start taking down out. inside in the thing. And we got a fellow named Zeke's, the Israeli name, by the way, not, not a fake name. <laughs> right. Zeke Ashley. He's a carpentry and joinery teacher at Maypen High School. Okay. That, that's Tony, a friend that he used to build Barry Studio as a carpenter. He's a contractor. Um, um, I had their guy mm -hmm. for the studio, guy okay, built studio, and Zeke is the the carpenter. So I get the same contact and we start. It took nearly two years from like when it was again, 1999 September, and we opened 2001 February. Oh, okay. Yeah. But after a while, everything was going smooth. I forget our gentleman, do you know that German guy? Yeah, man, no, gentleman. It's me, man. Um, we get two gold to have him. I think I placed him on a goal. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, gentleman, journey to Ja. Journey to Ja. Okay. And the next album, Confidence. The memory just are flying now, you know. Mm. Yeah, those two albums, he recorded and mixed there. Okay. You know? He said he hear about me, I think probably through Richie Steven. And right, okay, my Richie used to and very said, close. He like how my mix, nice and warm, but yet still bright and sparkling. And, you know, that's what he said. Link so. Up. so while we were there, you know, things start to get bad. Sometimes people book your studio, they're old, they don't pay. The, the, the guys not making any money that put up the money. Right. So we decided to, to 
sell it because Taz wanted to buy a studio, you know. Oh. His father, okay. which I know well, I did a lot of work with Taz. See oh, that, right. Know? Dennis Brown, here I come, do a song. They used to fly to Nassau to me. For, for the mixing? Yeah, for the mixing. All those things we forget. And that me just say, I know. A holy but thing, man. That's why I said we need one week. <laughs> We're not joking, you know. Here I come <laughs> with love and not hatred. Slide did album near to um, Sligoville with um, Taxi with him. Taxi. <laughs> Taxi! It's me whistle, hey, though. It's me do that whistle, yeah, eh? Oh, really? Because the engineer, the assistant engineer couldn't whistle. We sent him to the whistle <laughs> plus taxi. He might the taxi voice, but pure ear was coming out. He <laughs> said, Benji, don't worry. I'll whistle and you, say. I'm a, we team up and do it. Why Sly start laugh? Sly, love it. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, eventually we have to shut down the studio. <laughs> yeah. At the trade center. Okay. We sell it to Tad. Right, because that, right, that yeah. is where Tad's is. It's still in good hands. Oh, yeah, yeah man. Definitely. Definitely. All right. We see the pre, man. He, he loves the music, too. Father Tad's in. Father Tad's. And then, and then Junior Tad's in. Junior Tad's, yeah. Mm. How many children? How many children, me? Mm. Uh, four. Four. Donnett, Troy, Shadi, and I have a daughter, Nassau, Raquel. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, and quite a few grandchildren, I am assuming. Not much. Not you know, much. Um, three. Three. Not much, yeah. Mm. They, they, they're not like we and our fathers <laughs> when you're in a whole heap of grandchildren. Yeah, yeah, it's well, all right. expensive. Very. If you decide to look after their children, I don't know how some people do it, you, know, you have to have limits. Expensive to, to, you, you, know? you remember, remember one time there was advertisement, family planning. Right. They said two is better, better than, than two, two men. It's true. A true, yeah, yeah, man. You have to look after everybody. Yeah, man. Nice. Bigger bars, as we say. Yeah, man. We're always available. Yeah. For talk yeah, again. You understand? Yeah, man. It's a joy to see me, bossy. And as Cleve said, I have her number. She will never get away. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> and that is, uh, Same tone, though. You will never get, get away. away. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Father, computer part, big up yourself. You better suck me out. You understand? Yeah, man. Big appreciate up computer it. Part, yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate no, it. Lang-